resume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. to take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Greetings, and thanks for choosing Kablam! I'm Henry. I'm Henry. And this would be June. And this would be June. That's cute, June. That's cute, June. I smell. You smell. <laughs> oh, come on, Hanksy. Can't you take a joke? Can I take a joke? That's all I do is take your jokes. Oh, pish posh. You're imagining things. Am I, June? Am I? Hmm. Henry, the camera doesn't lie. It won't happen again. I promise. Great. I feel much better now. Me too. So let's get on with the show. So let's get on with the show. <laughs> That's it. I quit. Boy, somebody got up on the wrong side of the page today. I'm sure he'll cool off after a little sniz and fondue. CD, buttons all over the place, and speakers, and a leather listening recliner. Ooh, kinder on the hinder. May I take your order, please? I'll have the house special. Excellent choice. Fooled my way for Thin Highness. Now how about some state-of-the-art sound? I couldn't afford it. I spent it all on the hardware. There will be more television after these messages. If you like music, get a pencil right now! And we'll tell you where to get 100 CDs for only a buck! have to buy 100 more discs at prices we decide. So just mail that dollar to this address on the screen and begin a normal life filled with music. Fondue is going to be right in the sight track into Victoryville. Hey, man, are you Sniz Brankowicz? Bronkowski, babe, like the motorcycle. Okay, make signy signy here, here, and initial here. Okay, rock steady. What? What's going on? What's going on is I got you a hundred CDs. But why? What? Well, I mean, it's not even close to my birthday. Look, Fonzer, the pop, the techno. You're the best, pal. The best. Disco 2000. Dancing the future. Disco 2000. The future's exciting. Jonas, how about some nasty boogaloo? Disco you 2000. know it, DJ. 
DJ Squeak? Dig that indestructible digital technology. Champy! I'd like Slice Nana in my cereal, too. Bro, I'll set you up proper. Hey, wow! My chair doesn't wobble anymore. <laughs> Today's the day for more 100 CDs. You got the wrong house, Dudo. I got mine already. I got the right house, Duda. You're in the club. Something, something, I hereby agree to purchase another 100 discs at the super discount price of $500? Oh, see. Was that imbecile? Do you have any idea what you've done? But I was... Uh... These clubs are scam operations. You wind up owing them money for the rest of your life. Excuse me? I think that what I'm hearing is that you no can make payment. Well, I don't usually do this, but since you dress interestingly with sabor, I will need to take all 200 CDs back and take you out of the club. Provided, of course, they're in mint condition. <laughs> Sport nut? I mean, champ, um, sir, uh, can we talk about our other options? <laughs> this is the only part of my job that I don't like. Which one of you is Sneeze? Hey, Tim! Him! Shalom! Enjoy your CDs. Join again soon! See, Fondue? We can still enjoy your CDs without a fancy stereo. Just go. Ah, made you smile. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Woo! Woo! Sniz and Fondue. Now that's a comedy team that can take a joke. Unlike Henry, who's still AWOL. Ah, here's a letter from him now. Thanks, Mr. Foot. He's probably apologizing for running out on the show. Dear June, Splitting up with you is the smartest thing I've ever done. Ooh. I've opened my own restaurant. Your lawyers wouldn't let me use the Kablam name, but that's okay. I've moved on. Fresh pepper, sir? The Prometheus burgers and Sniz shakes are selling like hotcakes. And best of all, I can eat all the action fries I want. By the way, we tried putting a chunky-style June pudding on the menu, but the customers found it a bit... Fine! Who needs him? I hope he chokes on his action fries. And speaking of action, here's another spring-tingling adventure from Action League Now. Dateline. Living Room Amusement Park, where his dishonor, the mayor, reaps the profits from a sordid sideshow. And now, prepare your eyes for a horrible testimony to nature's cruelty. Gee, Uncle Stinky, isn't it wrong to gawk at unfortunate creatures? No, it's great! Woohoo! Bring on the freak! I give you Big Baby! Baby. It's a grotesque parody of human life! Dance for the people! Dance! Uh-oh, here's trouble. Come on, you want a 
piece of me? Couple <laughs> catch me first. Gangway! Action League. Now, starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Big Baby. We find our heroes at a mobile command post, devising a careful strategy to deal with a delicate situation. Smash it! Crush it! Destroy it! No, Big Baby is a rare creature. To be studied, not destroyed. Let us use reason, not violence. Say, um, Bill, there's something we've been meaning to tell you. Uh, yeah, Big Baby sort of grabbed your daughter, Quirky, and ran off with her. That thing has my daughter? Ah! Smash it! Crush it! Destroy it! Ow. Meanwhile... <laughs> More wholesome milk, dear? Mom, you know I'm lactose intolerant. Help! Help me! Help! Hey! Help! That girl goes to my school! Help! Ah! It's Big Help! Baby! Help! Help! Hey, you Big Baby Mutant! Time to learn your first words! Bye-bye! Good one, Stinky! But I think you got a mad! My precious Corgi, my little lab assistant. She was all I had and she worked for free. Don't worry, old friend. I've got my best people on it. Ah! Help, please! Help! Somebody! Help me! Please! Hang on! Quirky! Help! Help! Does a little baby want his passy wax? Ah! Oh, jeez! Is the Action League in deep doo-doo? Can they quell a crying monster before Quirky meets a diapered doom? Stay tuned for the action swaddle conclusion of Action League now. Hey, Goblamsters! Keep your tushy on the cushy! Still to come, Prometheus and Bob. Life with Loopy. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Goblam! Go! Action League, now. Big Baby, Big Trouble. Little Girl, Little Hope. As the terrible toddler climbs to dizzying heights, the Action League clamors for answers. Daddy, help! Do something! I'm a scientist. Mustn't let feelings get in the way. Think. Who can think with that stench? Really? Who wafted one? Stench. Waft? That's it. Come on, people. We've got work to do. And so, with time running out, the Action League gets to the bottom of the problem. Hey, you! I've heard of doing one's duty, but this is revolting! Here's more trouble. Ramming speed! Jackrabbit! Amazing what a difference a clean diaper can make! Boy, I'll say! Daddy! Quirky, you're all right. Thanks to the Action League. Hey, Stinky, I thought you hated babies. I thought so, too! But this was such a cutie woody moose! We in. Yes, indeed. Now it's time for something a little more intimate. With what's-his-name off the show, I finally have a chance to spread my wings. Mr. Foot? When old Amelia Earhart brought her plane around, they said, hey, kid, you're dreaming. 
you'll never leave the ground. But she climbed into that cockpit and took off anyway. Looking in the sky that day, you could almost hear her say, I'm flying lighter than air. Look at me now without a care. I'm uh, June? You okay? What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Take 55, Pottery. <laughs> End. Kablam! Welcome back. It seems the network decided I work better as part of a team. So please give a warm Kablam welcome to my new co-host, Hector. So how does it feel to be part of the Kablam family? I am Hector. Uh, of course you are. Say, Hector, wasn't that last cartoon Kablamorific? Super strong and super naked. Oh, oh. This might be a good time for a commercial. Commercial now. Aw, oh, Mom, mutton chops again. Tired of the same old mutton? <laughs> then come on down to Henry's House of Kaboom. Now in all 50 states and Puerto Rico. Action fries now. <laughs> Hi, Larry here. Yeah, I know I look ridiculous, but looks aren't everything. And last week, Loopy found that out the hard way. It all started when Mom and Dad were making us watch one of those nature shows. Butterflies are the most beautiful and glamorous of all the winged creatures. Mom, when am I going to start looking beautiful and glamorous? when everyone else starts looking really ugly. Don't listen to Larry, dear. We think you are beautiful and glamorous. I mean like you, Mom. Pumpkin, your mother's got the kind of beauty and glamour that takes years to achieve. Years? I can't wait that long. Once in the cocoon, the caterpillar metamorphosizes into a beautiful butterfly in only seven days. Seven days? Now that's more like it. What happened next came as quite a shock. Hey, Squirt, what's the small idea? Making a cocoon. 
own. It's my shortcut to stylishness. Smell you in a week, Booger Breath. Well, without Loopy around, life just seemed to fly by. And before I knew it, the week was up. Loopy, honey, are you okay in there? Wings? Wow! This worked even better than I thought. <gasps> My baby's a butterfly. What are we going to do? I'll get the camcorder. Well, I gotta admit, even though my sister was a bug, she did look pretty glamorous. Trouble was, we weren't the only ones who thought so. I don't believe it. The palace polychloros. <laughs> if I were to capture such a rare specimen, those fools would have to take me back into the academy. Back at the house, Dad had seen enough. Dinner time! Larry, get your sister back in the house. Hey, Loopy! Get your behind down on the ground! It's time for dinner! Dinner's for landlubbers! I'm Loopy, queen of the breeze! Look at me! I'm the most beautiful butterfly of all! Hey! What the... Hold still, my beauty! Nix the net, mister! I'm a delicate creature! Wait! Stop! Come back! Meanwhile, I figured if Loopy wasn't gonna come down... Then I was just gonna have to fly up and get her. Where are you, my little little palace? I know you're around here somewhere. Boy, this glamour thing is a pain in the thorax. I'm going home. Loopy! Larry? Careful, the bug zapper! Ha! Got you! So that's the story. Loopy finally figured out that looks really aren't everything. And as for me, well, I guess I'm the one leading the glamorous life now. Hi, fellow Kablamers. Due to circumstances beyond his control, Hector won't be here to say goodbye. But it's just as well because I guess I've realized that no one can replace my friend Henry. You're wrecking my action fries! Henry! June! Let's not get gross here. Right. Henry, I know it hurt you. I'm so sorry. Please say you're back for good. Okay, okay, I'm back. So, would you like to do the honors? With pleasure. Welcome, Lamoids. That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <sighs> what? I was always saying goodbye, like I always do. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. And cut!
Worlds Collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, Kablamsters. It's Henry. And June. Today on Kablam, we're proud to introduce... The latest breakthrough in interactive television. Kablamovision! Henry, walk us into the future, won't you? With virtual pleasure. And now prepare yourself for our first interaction. June will pick a card and hold it up for you, the audience, to see. Remember this card. Wow, you and the card trick are now interacting. Is this your card? No. Is this your card? Uh, no. Is this your card? No, that's um, not it either. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Don't blame me. This new technology may be defective. Yeah, that's it. And speaking of defectives, here's Action League now. Dateline, Driveway International Airport. With the world on the brink of war, the Action League stands ready to escort an emissary of peace to a vital summit. Now remember, the ambassador has to sign that treaty, or we may be looking at World War III. He must be protected at all costs. Don't worry, Chief. Protecting ambassadors is our middle name. Not mine. It's Murray. Your Excellency, it is indeed a great honor. I salute you. I salute you, Chief. And I salute everybody. League now starring the flesh he's super strong and super naked thunder girl she flies like thunder stinky diver a former navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor and meltman with the power to um, melt today's episode danger for a dignitary we find our heroes at a secret lab where the only hope for world peace lies in pieces. Gullers, can't they just send another ambassador? Flesh, need I remind you what you did to the last three ambassadors they sent? Yes, please. The first ambassador took in the beauty of our coastline. A little closer than he intended. The next one visited the hood. And wound up underneath it. And the third guy didn't even make it to lunch! <laughs> now they're all out of ambassadors! Blast it! Build a lab guy, you've got to save this one! There's nothing I can do. Unless, well, there is a surgical procedure. But it's going to take time. That's the one thing I don't have! The treaty signing starts in an hour! Hang on, I've got an idea! They're nearly identical. What a coincidence. Everyone, action huddle. Here's the plan. One hour later at the World Peace Summit, the League's ingenious plan to save the world is revealed. I'm taking these clothes off. My naked body yearns to be free. No! I know it's killing you, mate. But hang in there. No one suspects a thing. Ambassador, a great pleasure. Howdy doody. Whoopsies. Meanwhile, the real ambassador undergoes a delicate procedure. There's thunder. I need more glue. Oh, no. I've lost him. I was afraid of this. Goody. Popcorn's done. Back at the summit. These clothes are chafing my sensitive skin. 
I must say, this is hardly the ambassador I knew at Cambridge. And now, before we sign, I call upon the ambassador to lay out the principles of this historic agreement. Uh, I was told there'd be no math. It must be humbling to hold the fate of so many in one's hands. Ladies and people, it is with great pleasure that I take off these stupid clothes! Hooray for me! As a disrobed dignitary dashed all hopes for world peace, can Bill the Lab Guy save a dismembered diplomat? Stay tuned for the action's scanned conclusion of Action League Now. We'll have more action later on in the show, but right now we've got interaction. We now present, for the first time ever on TV, a totally interactive Kablamavision staring contest! First one to blink loses. Ready, set, stare! I have to warn you, we're practically unbeatable. Aw oh, man, shoot, I'm out. Loser. Uh-oh. I, I, I got a tinkle. Gee, too bad. Guess that means you... Be right back. Wow. She's good. Well, since you're staring, feast your eyes on that big-brained alien and his Cro-Magnon crony, Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. He chose his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 8, Furniture. Blamsters, keep your tushy on the cushy. Still to come, life with Loopy. The offbeat. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Kablam! 
Action League now. An ambassador impaired, immobilized, impersonated. With doom impending, an action imbecile creates an international imbroglio. Or does he? Brilliant! He stands naked before us in the spirit of peace. Genius. He lays bare the true meaning of diplomacy. Hooray for the ambassador. Hooray for feeling free. Hooray! Hooray! And so I signed this treaty with bareness and nudity for all. Hooray! Congratulations, Flesh. It isn't every day you get to save the world naked. All work here is done. Ambassador the Flesh? He's an imposter. We've been duped. This means war. Lunch, misters. Hand me my pants. Later that day, with their mission botched, our heroes bid adieu to an oblivious ambassador. Goodbye, Action League. Thank you for all you did to ensure world peace. Someday, I hope you will come visit my country. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure thing. You bet. Yeah, you bet. You bet. I wonder if we should tell him that his country is a smoking crater. Whoopsie! Oh. Nah, we can tell him later. The end. Welcome back. You know, interactive TV isn't just about cheap gimmicks. It's about sharing. That's correct, Henry. And now, thanks to Kablamavision, we'd like to share with you the sounds of the sea. Hey, can I hear? To fully enjoy your encounter with the sea, you may want to adjust your volume. But it's my turn. Later, Henroid. I'm trying to interact here. Give it. Ahoy now. This is kablamerific. You're right, Henry. That was kablamerific. Just like life with Loopy. Do not adjust your set. It's my world that's been turned upside down. Let me explain. See, this all started last Monday night, when me and the folks were trying to spend some quality time together. Speed a big concern, safety not an issue? Call the Quick Fix Construction Company. We guarantee a quick fix for any housing headache or your money back. The only problem was, Something was spoiling our concentration. Loopy, sweetie, a drink of water might cure those hiccups. Actually, what our little honey bunch needs is a good old-fashioned shock to the system. Ah! You know, the only 100% sure-fire way is to stand on your head and count backwards. 84. 83, 82. As usual, my expert advice was right on the money, and soon her hiccups were history. 81, hey, it worked. Unfortunately, we were about to have a bigger problem on our hands. Everything looks so cool upside down. I'm gonna stay this way forever. Well, take it from me. Once Loopy gets an idea into her head, she can get real hung up on it. There was nothing she could do right side up that she didn't like better upside down. And I mean nothing. But for the rest of us, Loopy's new lifestyle did have its upside down sides. Pocket fallout was a big problem. Honey, these croutons are a little stale. And her suction cups were driving us nuts. 
takes construction. Don't think, call now. Somehow we put up with it until... Hi, everybody, I'm home. Whoopi decided to hang out with some new friends. Hey, Dad, say hello to Lester. <coughs> ah! Oh, dear. Larry, could you do me a little favor? Get her down from there. Honey, honey! Now, I wasn't about to waste my day peeling my roof rat sister off the ceiling. Hello? Quick Fix Construction? Don't worry, honey. I'm sure Larry took care of it. So you see, thanks to my Quick Fix solution, everyone got what they wanted. Mom's happy because Loopy's right side up again. Loopy's happy because she still gets to run around on the ceiling. And Dad, well, I'm sure he'll be happy as soon as he gets used to the new arrangements. Acting live with you through the miracle of Kablamavision. Henry, take us into the next dimension of sight and sound. Now, when I say blow, start blowing. Ready? Blow! <laughs> Come on, Boston. I don't see you blowing. Chicago! You call yourself the Windy City? Uh, Henry, I think we got a problem here. We sure do! Our audience is a bunch of wimps! Come on! Blow! Dig deep! Work it! Really put your lungs into it! What's the matter with you? Can't you spin a measly pinwheel? Whoa! Now that's interaction. While I go find Henry, prepare to be blown away by the offbeats. What's the matter, Tommy? My mom says I have to get my coat cleaned. So? I love this coat. It is kind of dirty, and it's only for one day. That wasn't so bad, was it? I want my coat! They never stay, never stay small, and the populars don't like them at all. But that's okay, life is sweet. They cool. Ah! They the offbeats. I heard your coat is being cleaned, Tommy. You can borrow my coat on Medic 2000. It's not my coat. I know, but look what my coat can do. It doesn't even look like my coat. But I can make it look like your coat. No. 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 Betty Ann? Yes, Tommy? I want my coat! <laughs> Rapunzel. Mm. What's wrong, Tommy? Mm. What did he say? He said, I want my coat! Going golfing.
Breathe, Tommy, breathe. Hey, what's wrong with Tommy? His coat said the cleaners. So what? Tommy loves his coat. Oh, Tommy Wommy needs his Cody Wody. Don't push it, Tina. Hey, Tommy, your epidermis is showing. Coats. Tommy? Coats. Tommy? Coats. Hello? Coats. Run! <sighs> Tommy! Your coat's back from the clears. Coats? Oh. Sorry, Tommy. About what? Well, that about wraps up the historic debut of Kablamma Vision. Let's commemorate this towering technological achievement with a photograph of you the audience. And as a bonus, I'm gonna be in the picture with you. How come you get to be in it? I'm only thinking of our fans, June. Okay, everybody, move in. This is the chance of a lifetime. Everybody smile and say, kablam! Let me see, let me see. Hey! <laughs> Boy, the fans really do love you, Henry. See you next time, Kablamites! Join us again next time! Same Kablam time, same Kablam network! joining us. You know, it takes more than great cartoons to put together a show like Kablam. That's right, Henry. It also takes staples. And as you can see, our supply is running dangerously low. That's why we're holding the first ever Kablam Staplethon. 
Our operators are standing by. So show us how much you care. Pledge your staples now. Surely the great entertainment on Kablam is worth a few measly staples. Did we mention that Bigfoot knows where you live and can pluck your head off like a grape? Now that's the spirit of giving. And in return, we'd like to give you the gift of laughter with Snooze and Fondue. Worst movie ever. Man, Shenkel is way past his prime. Psst, Fondue, come here. What? What are you doing? It's called plexing. You hop from theater to theater, but you don't get caught. I, I, isn't this a criminal offense? Uh, I mean, life moves fast, in or out, in or out. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Huh? What? May I see your ticket stop? Uh, sure, I... Your film has already let out. Are you having trouble locating the exit? Well, well. Did you just scare me? <laughs> you silly gooseling. Why'd you wait for me? Oh, I just wanted to ask you a question. When did you become a psychotic criminal? Look, guy, that Shanko movie just stole a 50 from me. For once, I wanted cinematic justice. Justice? You call breaking the law justice? Try and look at it this way. There comes a time when you just have to write your own plot in this nutty old movie of life. Champs, get ready to have your lives changed. So, Snizzy, I guess you got your money's worth this time. <laughs> No way. He, he, he didn't. Excuse me, sir. The exit is to your left. Oh, um, I, we, uh, um, uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, nothing. Fondionis! Are you stokey stoked for the creature that chewed with its mouth open? Guy, I'd rather put my hat through a paper shredder than see that dreck. But I shall accompany you to the cinema to make certain you plex no more. I must say I was wrong. That pick was strangely satisfying. Worth all 850 pennies. I loved it. Shall we proceed directly to the exits? Whatever you say. But aren't you wondering about my shirt? <laughs> 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 Sniz, Sniz, come outside at once. Shut up at once. This is your last. Shh. Sniz. Somebody needs to work on his technique. For the last time, if you don't sign us confession, we're keeping the hat. No way am I signing this. Oh, yes, you will. Plexa. I know, Plexa. It wasn't me. It was, uh, that is to say. Who are you covering up for? Who's the plexa? I didn't do it. I didn't steal the magical twig. Come on, Dubreeze. We know it was you. It wasn't me. It was, uh, that is to say. Who are you covering up for? Who's the twig stealer? It's me. I did it. Sunshine Squirrel? Don't punish Misty Doobreeze for my psychotic criminal behavior! Fun do. Punish the squirrel severely. Oh, 
multiplexer! You are hereby banned from 40plex cinemas indefinitely. Fondue! Gasp! Wait, school! I'm he, I'm the plexer, not him, but I've changed my ways. From now on, I promise to pay honest roll to see bad movies like everybody else! Then you're banished, too. Snizz, you're cured of your ill behavior! Yes, sir! Here, catch! Love you, man! <laughs> kind of bites that were banned from the 40plex. Truism. I guess now we'll have to check out this place. Another pants-ripping episode of Sniz and Fondue. And so well stapled together. Remember, if you'd like to continue enjoying this kind of kablamorific entertainment, we need your staples. But we wouldn't expect something for nothing, would we, Henry? No, June, we certainly wouldn't. That's why, for a pledge of 1,000 staples, we'll send you these handsome Meltman oven mitts. For 500 staples, you'll get this Prometheus and Bob air freshener. Mmm, Mesozoic. And if you pledge right now, you'll also get my brand new Power Tools calendar with 12 photos that reflect my ever-changing moods. Uh, actually, you know, I think we just ran out of those. And speaking of scary shirtless guys, here comes the flesh and the rest of the Action League. Now! Dateline, Chlorine Lake. A summer crowd turns out as the mayor turns a tidy profit. <laughs> My new resort will make me rich this summer. Rich! Who's next? Yes, please. One wiener. That'll be 50 bucks. But as the flesh feeds on a frank, danger stalks an unsuspecting prey. That guy's waving at us. He must be one of our fans. Howdy, good citizen. Oh, help! I wonder why he stopped waving. Maybe because he lost his hand? Blimey! Everybody out of the drink! Action League. Now. Starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl. She flies like thunder. Stinky Diver. A former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman with the power to melt. Today's episode, Incident at Chlorine Lake. We find our heroes in a somber mood pondering a terrible tragedy. Hey, Bill, don't bother reading his lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I thought, the killer is a trophy bass. I've been wanting to study this magnificent creature for years. You can study it after we harpoon it, gut it, and serve it up with chips and vinegar. Come on, gang, we've got a job to do. So have I, Mr. Diver, so have I. Moments later, you can't close the beach just because of some freak accident. These waters are safe. Safe by safe. Ah! Uh, I guess the water's a bit choppy today. Meanwhile, Bill the Lab Guy combs the deep end using state-of-the-art optical gear. Whoa, this is cool. Look at the colors. Whoa. Uh, Daddy, shouldn't we be looking for that killer fish? Uh, right, of course. Make ready the viewing cage, Quirky. Meanwhile... Look, everyone, it's me, your mayor, enjoying the super safe waters of my fabulous resort. How relaxing. Anyone up for little Marco Polo? What a specimen. 
his physiognomy unchanged for millions of years. It's like looking into the gaping jaws of the past. Oh no, I was afraid of this. That's bad. With Bill the Lab Guy in over his pointy head, can the Action League save him from becoming Action Chum? Have you ever seen this show before? Stay tuned for the action soap conclusion of Action League now. Hey, go blamsters! Keep your tushy on the cushy! Still to come, Life with Loopy! Prometheus and Bob! And when we return, more Action League now! Right here on Kablam! Kablam! Action League now! Fish hungry, mayor made. Lab guy, lunch. With time running out, the Action League makes the kind of rescue they're famous for. A really stupid one. I'm going in, cover me! Bass repellent, get your bass repellent! Uh-oh, here's trouble. <laughs> Meanwhile... Lab guy, you're alive! Now out of the way so I can terminate this monster with extreme prejudice! Stinky, no. In the name of science, I can't let you. He's not evil. He's just hungry. Ah! You said a mouthful. Hey, Fishy, the buffet is closed! Stinky. When will the killing stop? You science guys just don't get it, do you? Man was born to dominate the earth and to crush his adversaries in the wild! Period! End of sentence! Blimey! The end. That was some action, huh, June? Sure was, Henry. And we've got plenty more, right here on the Staplethon. We do? Yes, we sure do. We are loaded for bear. Boy, oh boy. Well, what do you know? Look who it is, Henry. Our very own Kablam stagehand, Ron Spiegel. Hi, Ron. Looks like you've got some, um, flappage there. Yep. Tell me, how do you handle a tricky situation like that? Staple it. Okay, great. Can we get a drum roll? <laughs> wow. Let's see that again in slow-mo. Ron Spiegel, ladies and gentlemen, keeping Kablam together. Ron, would you like to introduce our next cartoon? Not really. Wanna know a secret? Last week, somebody in this family had, shall we say, a wee accident? No, I didn't. A case of leaky lederhosen? He's lying! What I'm trying to say is, Loopy wet the bed. I did not! Pumpkin, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Some of history's greatest heroes had plumbing problems. Julius Caesar? Joan of Arc? Even you, dear. I am not wetting the bed. Honey, 
We know it's just a phase you're going through, and we love you just the same. Okay, non-believers, unbutton your ear flaps. Here's the scoop. Remember when Elliot died? And you flushed him down the toilet because that's where you said goldfish heaven was? And then I dressed up as a goldfish and swam down to find Elliot's ghost? Uh... uh well, now every night, Elliot's ghost jumps up out of the toilet to visit me. Only trouble is, he always leaves a wet patch in the bed. Well, that's a very nice story. But we'd prefer to hear the truth, young lady. <sighs> well, I felt kind of bad for Whoopi, but come on, a goldfish ghost? Get real. What's the matter, kid? Something bothering you? Listen, Elliot, we gotta stop meeting like this. Yeah, you're right, kid. It's been fun, but maybe it's time. From now on, let's meet in the laundry room instead. Hmm. Loop, you know, I think it's time you forgot your old goldfish and found yourself a new pet. Come on, kid. Let me introduce you to some friends of mine. There you are, Loop. An ocean of possibilities. Oh, Loop, take a look at this one. Kind of wimpy. Okay, how about this guy? Now that's a good-looking fish. Sure, if you're into post-nuclear mutation. Don't worry, kid. There's hundreds to choose from here, and one of them's got your name on it. None of them? What we have is special. You can't just buy it in a store. Ah, <sighs> fish sticks. Uh-oh, better move your fins, Elliot, or your cat food. Poor thing. You're real hungry, aren't you? Well, I guess we'll never know exactly what happened that night. But I tell you one thing. I got a feeling that's the last we're gonna hear about Goopy's little plumbing problem. Welcome back! We're in minute 20 of the Staplethon, and the Kablam Retainment is really heating up. While we continue to take your pledges, my co-host will now share with us a special talent. I give you Henry. what I call Kablamertainment. And now, here's something you'll call Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 10, Boxing. Yeah. Yeah. 
bad. End. Well, that was quite an ending. I'd say the perfect ending to a very special show for all of us. Thanks to you, we've collected a lot of staples and a lot of memories. But you know, words alone can't really express our feelings. There comes a time in all our lives when we need a helping hand. So thanks for showing that you care. All across the land. You're keeping us together. It's like a brand new start. As long as we've got staples, we'll never come apart. See you next time. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, hey, Kablamatons. I'm Henry, and this is June. Welcoming you to another artery-clogging episode of Kablam! Oh. As you can see, some of the funniest moments on Kablam are the ones we don't plan. We call them Kabloopers. You'll just call them hilarious. So sit back as we present Kablam's Kabloopers, Flubs, and Miscues. Roll the ugliness. What's in a name? Plenty if you're Henry. Hi, I'm Harry. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I'm Henry. <laughs> Can we cut? <laughs> if you think forgetting your own name is moronic, check out this kaflub. Finally, here's a backstage kablooper that we think redefines the term slack-jawed idiot. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, how come all the kabloopers are of me? <laughs> Is that right? I didn't notice. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Yes, it was. Almost as funny as actually... Whoa! I'm not gonna say it. Dateline, Action Headquarters. Where the chief issues a high security alert. Listen up! I just got word that Hodgepodge has escaped from the asylum. He'll be coming after us like a mad dog on a motor scooter. Be on the lookout for anything suspicious. Look, everyone, unmarked packages. Give me that. Hey, me 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 what the? Oh, boring. Phooey, no chocolates. What kind of wacko nut job would send us these demented presents? Hodge Hodge! Glad we could get together. Action League, now starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, The Revenge of Hodgepodge. We find our heroes facing a ghastly blast from the past. Callers, Hodgepodge, what do you have against us? You jerks ruined my life. Remember when I was the Action League accountant? It was tax time, but I was the one who paid the penalty. And then that med school reject bots my operation. Whoops. I'm nothing but a mutilated mutant, and it's not fair! You know, I'm so sick of people moaning about how bad off they are. I say tough noogies! <laughs> On the other hand, that is a really sad story. Wow! Go, Listen, Hodgepodge, Hodge, it, it, it was the other guy's fault. Besides, look at me, I'm already melted. Later that day, at Big Kitchen Super Secret Laboratories, an important package arrives for an important lab guy. Daddy, look what I made in science class today. That's nice, dear. Now run along. But can I stay here and be a scientist like you? No, Quirky. It's too dangerous, and you are too young. Go and practice your ballet. All right, but I hate ballet. Uh, little help? Bill the lab guy, you've got to reassemble us. I feel like Humpty Dumpty at the end of that story about Humpty Dumpty. Chief, there's nothing I can do. That's what you told me! And look how nice I turned out! Hodgepodge, you were in a million pieces. There really was nothing I could do. Stop saying that, you hack! Now there is something you can do! You can beg for mercy! Oh no, help. Where are you guys? I'll put you back together. I'll show my dad I'm a scientist after all. All right. Go, girl. Come on, Quirky. Save us. Yes, please. Um, mercy, mercy. Is Bill the lab guy a goner? Can his dist daughter rebuild the Action League in time? Stay tuned for the action Julie and conclusion of Action League now. I can tell. And so can our audience, thanks to those cartoon anger fumes. I'm not angry anymore. Now I have an idea. Of course you do, June. That light bulb is another way cartoons tell the world what's on their mind. So, June, what's on your mind? Two words. Thought balloon. As you can see, June isn't much of a heavy thinker. Oh? And you are? That's right. Behold! Ah! 
the ever popular Birds of Pain. I just got another idea. Let's watch Prometheus and Bob. Birds of Pain? What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 49, Milking. League dies. A lab guy. Sly. Yeah. Back to our story. Hotspot, wait. Think of what you're doing. I am, and I'm loving it. Not so fast, Hodgepodge. Huh? Oh my gosh! Look at me. I'm a freak. I am looking at you. What a vision of beauty you are. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Bill, can we talk about your daughter, Dr. Frank and Quirky? My soul, May! My destiny! Ah, Together ow. we will mend the pieces of our broken hearts! Back off, you hunk of junk! Oh. Hodge Pate, anyone? Daddy, I did it! I'm just like you! I'm Quirky, the lab girl. Quirky, I was wrong. Thank you for teaching me something about being a parent. Now, where is the rest of the Action League? You mean those other parts? I tossed them out. Like you always say, a clean lab is a mean lab. That's my little scientist. Quirky? Say, Henry, what do you call a cross between an arch villain and a truck that's ram tough? What? A hodgepodge dodge! <laughs> June, are you through wasting our time? Do you have any idea how much animation costs per second? I'm sorry, Henry. You're right. But let me ask you something. 
What do you call a cross between a boll weevil and a Patriot missile? June, which part of No More Jokes don't you understand? It's not a joke, Henry. It's right behind you. I was just curious about what you'd call it. Hi, I'm Larry. Hear that? That's the sound of my sister Loopy not driving me crazy. But if you think my life's always this peaceful, you should have been here last Tuesday night when I was trying to get ready for my stupid school field trip. Larry, Larry, I'm a Viking cheerleader from Venus. B-I-K-I-N-G, lame brain Larry can't catch me. Loopy, you're going to lose your voice if you're not careful. Well, Loopy should have listened to what Mom had to say because the next morning, her voice was gone. Uh. Lost your voice, eh, shrimp? Well, why don't you go look for it? <laughs> now, most people wouldn't have taken that kind of advice too seriously, but Loopy's not most people. Hello, little lady. Welcome to the Lost and Found. What can we do for you? Oh, lost your voice, have you? You've come to the right place. Can you give me a description? Oh, right, if you could do that, you wouldn't be here, would you? Tell you what, we'll lend you a new voice until we find your old one. Try this on for size. Me on Evid, me on Shaga, cross many hoza mama. The voice I'm looking for is chattering chipmunks. This isn't talking, it's squeaking. Don't get your tonsils in a tizzy. How about this one? Ooh, baby. Now I'm talking the language of love. Very soulful. It grooves. OK, now, let's have that description of the voice you lost. Well, it's bad and beautiful and looking for love. See, I ain't been treating my baby right. Sounds like that voice we had in here this morning. Well, lay it on me. Uh, we gave it away. To an opera singer. My voice is singing opera? You'd better hurry if you want it back. The opera's leaving town after today's show. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was wishing the opera had left town yesterday. Cause there I was, front row center at the field trip flop of the century. Then, all of a sudden, Loopy? Hey, sweet thing, give me my voice back. Scram, Loopy, I found someone who takes better care of me. Please come back, baby. Loopy misses you so bad. I'm gonna give you a TLC from now till eternity. You promise? Cross my heart, baby. <laughs> Seems like you two want to be alone, so why don't I split this scene? Ooh, come on, baby, now. Do that funky thing. Lay that off wrong. The groove just makes me sing. So thanks to Loopy, I gained a new respect for the opera. And Loopy gained a new respect for her voice. I just hope this peace and quiet can last forever. Boy, that life with Loopy was... <laughs> you sounded just like me. Boy, that life... Phew.
August is playing dork ball. It's called paddle ball. It's called stupid. <laughs> That last ha always gets me. They never stay, never stay small. And the populars don't like them at all. But that's okay, life is sweet. They cool. Ah! They the offbeats. I'm sick and tired of being a dork. We think you're fine just the way you are. Right, September? No comment. Well, I'm not going to be a loser anymore. You can't become cool just like that, August. Just watch it. Behold, Swabomatic 5000. <gasps> Guaranteed to make me as cool as Elvis with half the fat. He's turning cool before my eyes. I haven't turned it on yet, Rapunzel. Sorry. I've set it for coolness factor five. Is it on now? You bet your sweet bibby, toots. Toots? What's shaking, bacon? Hey, it's August. Yeah, but there's something different about him. Something suave. Check it out. Nothing yet. Okay, baby. Feeling funky. What's up, Bongo baby? We were wondering if you want to hang out. Not now, Betty Ann. Being suave. Let's go, guys. I sure wish August was dorky again. I miss him. Don't worry, August will come back. Besides, how much fun can he have with the populars? I've saved the best for last, dudes. Paddle ball. Paddle ball? Isn't that that dork game? But I like paddle ball. Paddle ball outside coolness parameters. Initiating self-destruct sequence. Oh, boy. Wait a second. August isn't cool at all. He's just wearing some kind of weird doohickey. Once a dork, always a dork. <laughs> August, you're back. I blew it. The populars hate me even more than ever. I am a dork. We still like you, even if you are a dork. Really? Yeah. Do you still like me too, September? Sure, but I'm paid. You guys are the best. Well, that wraps up another room-clearing episode of Kablam! Yes, it sure was tasty. Just like Harold's glow-in-the-dark butter. Why are you talking about butter? It's not just butter, Henry. It's Harold's glow-in-the-dark butter. The glow is how you know it's Harold's. What? I'm Harold's official spokesperson. I beat out Wesley Snipes. June, I'm surprised at you. As hosts of Kablam, we have a responsibility to... Uh, hey! Oh no, the lights went out. Luckily, we have Harold's glow-in-the-dark butter to guide us. It just tastes better when it glows. 
I'm sorry. I promise I'll never do that again. Thank you. See you next time, Kablammers. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. to Kablam. Notice anything different around here? Well, you're about to. Because the network has finally decided it's time to make Kablam all that it can be. According to our new director of research, Kablam is big, big, big. However, a few tweaks could put it over the top. Which brings us to tweak number one. Henry? What? Nothing. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, June. But research shows that people love colorful winged insects. And what people are those? Hey! The same people who love fluffy, bucktooth woodland creatures. And speaking of creatures, here are those two fuzzy... What the heck are they anyway? Sniss and fondue! Shrimp baby. Yo, Becky bakes it up. What you shoving in the oven? I'm preparing upscale shrimp cocktail like in the more expensive restaurants. Shrimp cocktail? Pfft, never heard of it. Enough! I can't stand to see you wasting your life on prepackaged snacks. There's so much more out there. Please, do yourself a favor. And sample. It smells foody. Yo, whoa, Yona, stop! First, you gotta dip the little troublemaker in this stuff. Delicious. Really? May I? 
be my guest. Wow, I can't believe it. You've never liked any of my kitchen creations before. Aww. Who's your favorite best friend? You are. Voila. Oh, what's this? Today's specialty, beluga caviar and house-cured gravlox on a tower of balsa wood thin toast leads. I would like shrimp cocktail. You offensive little... But your shrimp cocktail has touched my soul. What? Nobody does it like you. I, uh, well, uh... You are the numero uno cooker of my heart. You little Epicurean scamp. I'm ready for my shrimp cocktail now. Don't forget the zest of lemon. Ice cream? Why do I have to ring three times? Why? I would like shrimp cocktail. This has gone far enough. Remove. But fondue, you are the man that makes shrimp cocktail like no one else can. You're the pungent yellow lemon wedge. Oh no, not this time, Gaio. I'm on to your game. I'm not gonna be buttered up anymore. Please, don't banish me now. Go! Selfish. You don't have to show it to me. Huh? Ask if you don't see it here. to Ferret Valley Place after these messages. Permission to come aboard? Fondue! Oh, Fondue! I'm sorry I tried to make you my shrimp slave. Apology accepted, my scampy champy. I'm sorry I cut you off from the crustaceans. Forgiveness. To make it up to you, I've prepared a little surprise Ocopia. Voila! Beam your eyelids into the crazy world of Battlestar Shrimp Piro. Web speed 10 to feeling better again. <laughs> All hands, abandon ship! Volcanic activity in the immediate sector! <laughs> Shellfish themed entertainment. Approved by the director of research. Yeah. Just like these swell costumes. Come on, June. The research people have been in the cartoon business a long time. I think they know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. I guess you're right, Henry. Of course I am. So, when the director of research says Kablam needs a live band, we say, Sock it to me! Okay, well, let's hear it for the band.
Dateline Workbench Laboratory, where Bill the Lab Guy unveils a top secret weapon in the war against evil. Hello, my name is Gunther. What's yours? Amazing, Bill the Lab Guy. Good work. I want this bad boy operational ASAP. You forgot to say the magic word. All right. Please. And keep an eye out. If this thing falls into the wrong hands, we'll all have our butts in a beehive. Worry, Ward. Everyone knows this lab is impregnable. Oh. Hello, my name is Hodgepodge. What's yours? <laughs> Action League, now starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Melt Man, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Voice of Treason. We find our heroes at Action League headquarters unleashing their most awesome power, self-pity. You think the X-Men have to swab the decks in a pig's eye? Custodial League, if you've got the grime, we got the time. Knock it off, you melted moron! This is the chief! I'll be out at a conference all day today. So... Why don't you guys take the day off? You've earned it! Hooray! Oh, yes! <laughs> now that I've stolen that dull, stupid voice box, I'm gonna give those jerks a permanent vacation! Finally, a chance to start my own web page. How does Meltman.com sound? All right, my first hit. Hello. Melty, it's Thunder Girl. I just realized I have a crush on you. Meet me out by the woodshed as soon as you can. Sooner, and I'll bring my lips. Yes. Jerks, this'll fix your wagon. Hello, Thunder Girl. This is Meltman. Meanwhile. Oh, finally a chance to catch up on me soaps. I can't believe Amanda is going out with that good-for-nothing Kyle. Hello? Flesh at your service. Howdy, Flesh. This is Kenny Rogers, inviting you and your smelly friend to join my new gym for free. Goody! And so, with his evil seeds sown, the vengeful hodgepodge prepares to reap a bitter harvest. Okay, Meltman, where are those free eclairs you promised? Eclairs? Didn't you say something about a crush? Ow. Hmm, think I'll start with the heavy bag. Ah! Ouchies! Man, what a sick gym! This whirlpool is deluxe! London Bridge is falling down. Oh! Chemical weapons! Blimey, I'm blinded! Later that day... So, why don't you guys take the day off? You've earned it! Ha ha ha! Hodgepodge, you fiend! Sticks and stones may break my bones, and this garage door is gonna break yours! No! Is this the final curtain curtain for our heroes? Stay tuned for the action mushed conclusion of Action League now. Hey, Goblamsters! Keep your tushy on the cushy! Still to come, Prometheus and Bob! Life with Loopy! And when we return, more Action League now! Right here on Goblam! Goblam! Action League now! Our heroes crunch, crumple, crush. 
With the door closing on any hope, the league has one last card to play. No, please! We'll be your best friend. The wuss card. No way! You only like me because I'm trying to crush you! Hey! What the? I can dig it, we can dig it, we can dig it, we can dig it, baby! Can you dig it? Hey, get out of here! You're ruining it! I've got crushing to do here! Ah! We're saved! Hooray for us! Goes to show ya. Big mouth jerks always get what they deserve. <laughs> the end. Welcome back. Cool. I'm cut like a rock. That's right, you. Thanks to the director of research. As you can see, Kablam viewers want more pumped up action. And what better way to pump up the action than by pumping us up? Let the pumped up action begin! Uh oh. We command you to watch Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape number 42, Canoe. Hey. 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 Welcome back to the new and improved Kablam. <sighs> what now? Arm wrestling. Really? Well, how bad can that be? I've got a huge 
choice words for our director of... The mayor? You're expecting maybe Warren Littlefield? But why, mayor? Why are you subjecting us to this torture? Because I want to turn the page. Fine! You can turn the page! Just leave us alone! Hooray! Hooray! I'm the luckiest boy! Okay, everybody. Prepare yourselves for the mixed up misadventures of that sassy lassie with a puppet chassis, Luffy! Hi there, Larry here. You know, I wasn't always the perfect physical specimen you see today. In fact, just last week, well... Uh... 190. In my book, that's a fever, young man. Son, I'm sorry, but if you're no better by tomorrow, your Little League game is out. But I'm feeling better already. I'm... <coughs> How come Larry's so sick, Mom? There's a flu bug going around, Loopy. A flu bug? Like with six legs and big claws? I wanted to tell Loopy that influenza, otherwise known as the flu, was just a microscopic virus. But all I could say was, achoo! Don't worry, snot sausage. Nurse Loopy will beat up that bug for you. Aha! My first clue! Soggy wads of flu bug flotsam. Gee, nice neighborhood. Phew, you scared me, big fella. I thought you were the... Hey, you! Come back here! and powerful flu bug! What? I said, I am the great and powerful... Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> What's the matter, Flubug? <laughs> Nothing. Boy, somebody's cranky. I am not. <laughs> All right, I am. But I don't feel good. <laughs> you poor thing. <laughs> oh, what do you care? Nobody likes having the flu. Well, maybe not the bomb at launch variety, but sometimes it ain't so bad. You don't have to go to school, and your parents have to wait on your hand and foot. Really? <laughs> Know what I think? You've been working too hard. Why don't you get out of this chilly old town for a while and take a vacation? Somewhere warm, mm -hmm. tropical, healthy. You know, that sounds like just what the doctor ordered. Thanks, pal. So that's the story, according to Loopy. But bug or no bug, the very next morning my flu was gone. It's a medical miracle. Hop to it, son. You're going to be late for your game. Excuse me, folks. Package for Nurse Loopy. Hi, pal. I I'm in beach bug heaven. P.S. Enclosed is a token of my appreciation. Might come in handy next time you want a day off school. <laughs> That Loopy is one zany youngster. She really showed Jerry that time. Oi. And now, a little happy feet. Hit it, Skitch! Henry, we've got to do something. The mayor's wrecking our show. I got an idea. time.
on the old and unimproved Kablam. Research free. Later, Kablamophiles. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Henry and June here, welcoming you to Kablam! Oh, looky here, Henry. It must be time to reach into the old Kablam mailbag. Seth Rosenberg of Hong Kong writes, Dear Henry and June, how did you two snag the most coveted jobs on cable television? Good question, Seth. Perhaps the best way to answer that would be to show you our actual audition tapes. Roll them. All applicants for Kaployment have to go through a rigorous screening process. First, I was tested for strength. Then, for durability. And then, for the final test, they dropped a safe on me. Sure, it was grueling, but nothing this good comes easy. Now let's take a look at June's audition tape. No one wants to see that. Oh, June doesn't want us to see your tape. This must be good. Roll it. Hi, I'm June. Welcome to Kablam. That's it. Perfect. You're hired. Hey, that's not fair. Life isn't fair, Henry. But thankfully, there's Action League now. It's next. Dateline, the evil empire of Nextoria, where a high-flying Thunder Girl spies on a secret missile site. Thunder Girl taking some pictures, spying on missiles with the wind in her hair. Ow! Oh! That didn't hurt a bit. The thing is, Thunder Girl, so beautiful, so doomed. Action League, now starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Cage Thunder. With Thunder Girl trapped behind enemy lines, we find our heroes banding together for a daring rescue mission. Count me out, Chief. It's taco night. Tacos! Damn it, you clowns. Everyone goes and that's final. Now to stay in constant contact, you'll be bringing along this high-tech two-way receiver. Ooh, shiny. This baby costs more than a shuttle launch on a Sunday, so take good care of it. Got it. Check. Right. Your move, Melty. Move out! 
Meanwhile, in a fetid foreign prison. This is inhuman. My cellmate just ate its young. Let's dispense with the niceties, little girl. Join me, and together we will rule the world as king and queen. Nah, I gotta get back. It's taco night. Pretty little fool. They'll give you gas. As Colonel Mayer is rejected, the League is ejected into action. Hey, aren't you supposed to do this with parachutes? Oh, jeez, mates. The Chief said he couldn't afford any. Starting to hate that phone. Hello? Yeah, Plant, it's the Chief. How's the phone? Are you morons taking care of it? Sorry, Chief. I'm going to have to call you back. Hey, any of you guys know where Thunder Girl is? Ah, the famous Action League. We finally meet. Just in time to watch me annihilate your nation's capital! <laughs> Colonel, no! Let's not be rash. We can negotiate. He's bluffing, Thunder Girl. I bet the yellow belly doesn't have the guts. I'll take that bet. <laughs> you lose. Nice work, Melody. Way to talk him down. Can no one stop this madman and his missiles? Will our nation's capital become Squashington, D.C.? Stay tuned for the action smithereen conclusion of Action League Now. We'll have more action later, but right now, feast your eyes on our spick and span April Fresh Studio. While you were gone, we were busting our humps to clean this place from top to bottom. We? <laughs> I'm the one who mopped, scrubbed, dusted, and deloused Mr. Foot. Well, I did the laundry. Don't our clothes look great? Henry, uh, what did you use to wash our clothes? This. You idiot! Disappearing ink. You disappear just yet. <laughs> uh, here's Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape 88 Ice Skating. <laughs>
Keep your tushy on the cushy. Still to come, life with Loopy. The Offbeats. And when we return, more Action League now. Right here on Kablam! Kablam! Action League now. A spy mission fail. A rescue mission fail. Failure, failure everywhere. As time runs out, the Action League puts their heads together to save our nation's capital. By the way, what is our nation's capital? Sacramento? This is cool. It's like one of those hamster wheels. Hey, I'm starting to feel the burn. Whoa! 30 seconds to impact. That's your losers. Whoopsie! Uh-oh, he is trouble. Ah! Good work, Flash, come on! Only hope is to reroute the missile to where we'll do the least damage. But blimey, we need some coordinates. I'll get it. Hello? Hey, why'd you hang up on me, you naked numbskull? Say, Chief, what are your coordinates? 30 degrees longitude, 82 degrees latitude. Thank you. Got it. It's working. Hey, what's that noise? Chief, Chief, guess he got cut off. Ouchies. The end. Wow, wasn't that Hey, why'd they censor me? All I said was Huh, that's weird. What's wrong with saying isn't even a bad word? I have no idea. Why can't I say This doesn't make any Hey, what do you have there? Nothing. You're the one who's bleeping me. No, I'm not. <laughs> Why you can't We swear you'll love this next cartoon. Here's Life with Loopy. Hi, Larry here. You know, there comes a time in every kid's life when he takes that first step into adulthood. And for me, the big moment came last Thursday night. Larry, your father and I have something to tell you. Son, you're getting to be quite the young man now, and we think you're ready to handle the most exciting privilege the adult world has to offer, late night television. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. I, I won't disappoint you. 
They grow up so fast. Well, I should have known Loopy wasn't going to take this situation lying down. No fair! How come Larry gets to stay up late and watch all the cool stuff? Don't worry, Loopy. Your time will come soon enough. But right now, it's bedtime. So this was it. 52,000 channels of fiber optic fantasy were about to be mine and mine alone. One small step for mankind. One giant leap for me. Welcome to the chess channel. We're only 18 hours in the semifinals match and already the excitement is at a fever pitch. What's this junk doing on late night TV? Must be some kind of mistake. Did you know that millions of Americans are troubled by excess ear fat? If you're one of them, then you owe it to your ears to try the Lobelizer. <laughs> Ugh. Gotta stay awake. Gotta... And in today's stock market news, the average share index showed a remarkable upswing in the overall down cycle. Hey you! This ain't late night television, it's lame night television! Seems like we have a cranky couch potato out there. Let's see if she still feels that way after experiencing late night television in person! Woohoo! Hey there, welcome to Hanging with the Hangster. Say, you're kind of short for a celebrity, aren't you? <laughs> Cut it out, you canned cornballs. If this is quality television, then I'm a Brussels sprout. Brussels sprout? Wait a second, let's see your mature viewer ID card, little lady. I don't have one. <gasps> Warning, underage viewer. Grab her, you idiot. Hey, come back here. Last show on the dial. I've got you now. Larry! Wake up, you wormhead! Larry! <laughs> Get me out of here! Loopy? What's going on? What are you doing on TV? Tell you later. Just call in and buy me quick! Hi. Uh, I guess I want to buy a doll. The, the funny-looking one. You do? Okay, fine. The bill's in the mail, mister. Thanks, Larry. Hey, I didn't know you had all that money. I don't. I've only got 50 cents. So that's the story. I guess I was hoping that late-night TV would open the door to a whole new future. But thanks to Loopy, I got a little more than I bargained for. Hey, Mr. Home Shopping. When you're done with that, you can sweep the garage, clean out the gutters, and re-roof the house. Don't worry, kids. You'll have that bill paid off by the time you're 21. Welcome back, Kablaministas. Uh, Henry, I think there's a squirrel stuck in your shirt. This? Oh, no, it's just a little chest hair I had the animators draw for me. Manly, yes? Did you know it's still growing? Not growing, June. Animated. Uh-oh. You're a piece of work. Well, here's something the animators know how to do right. The offbeats. Oh no, I've got that song stuck in my head. They never stay, never stay small, and the populace don't like them at all. But that's okay, life is sweet. They cool. Ah! They the offbeats. What 
What's up, Tommy? I've got a song stuck in my head, Betty Ann. Don't sing it. I'll be right back. Can't be too careful, you know. What am I going to do, Betty Ann? What? What am I going to do? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. What am I going to do? I don't know. La 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 la, la 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 la. According to my copy of How to Get a Song Out of Your Head, this is very serious. They recommend thinking of something else. You're gonna have to do better than that, Tommy. That's it, Tommy. It isn't working. I didn't know the dork convention was in town. You can't tease me. You're just a space slug! Ouch. La 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 la. La 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 la. This song is driving me crazy. You're lucky. I just got my turbocharged song away in the mail. Tommy? Baby. I think you got more than the song. Quick, August. Reverse the song away. <laughs> Tommy, are you okay? Who am I? And why is this song stuck in my head? Allow me. Thanks, September. La 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 la. I don't know which one of the offbeats is the dorkiest. <laughs> now I know. <laughs> Let me just say. Look out, he's gonna blow. <laughs> la 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 la, la 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 la. But that's just a song. The kind of song that gets stuck in your head forever. Good work, Tommy. Ah! <sighs> I feel much better. Hi, guys. Listen to this. La, 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 la. I've been singing it all day. <gasps> cool, huh? La, 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 la. Well, that just about wraps up another super absorbent episode of Kablam! Henry, check it out! Nutty Putty! June, Nutty Putty is for Witto Babies. No, it isn't. Watch! Can you mind? See? Isn't that Kabam? No, it's cause stupid. Who you call him stupid, Ink Boy? Dude, do something! Okay. Well, so long, everybody. See you next time. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network.
resume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. and comics collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Kablades and Kablentlemen, live from the Lee Majors Pavilion, it's Kablam's 100th episode extravaganza. Scheduled to appear, Rosie O'Donnell. Vice President Al Gore, Moesha, and Meredith Baxter Burney, with performances by Riverdance, Ken Griffey Jr., and more. And now, once again, your Kablammy co hosts, Henry and June. Wow, 100 episodes. How does it feel, Henry? Kablam-tastic, June. Not many television shows have had the stamina, excellence, or girth to make it to episode 100. Why, it seems like only yesterday that two wide-eyed kids came out on the stage and... I thought you were counting. Oh yeah, it's always my fault, isn't it? Something goes wrong, it's always Henry, Henry, Henry. Well then, who's ready for fun? Then hang on tight as we kick off Kablam's fantabulous 24th episode extravaganza. Here's Sniz and Fondue. Business? I know Fondo's present will be your best work ever. I plan for him to Jones! Oh my gosh! I'm sorry! I will curse you! But since you already apologize, I only curse Clay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not job. Happy birthday, Fondue! Yes, you! Now let the guitars really rip, because Sneezy's here to rip. Open it, Fondue! Open it! I sculpted it myself! Except the body, that's just a beanbag. Oh, Sniz, it's the greatest gift ever! The greatest! So, like I was saying, it's cool if you want to play with my stuff in the middle of the night, but weird. Just remember to put the merch back in its proper place. Comprende, Rama? You, sir, are cuckoo. For duty! You missed such a picture. Fine, sir, you left your little pally on the stairs. Somebody could trip on him. Whoa, back off with that. Huh? No, no, no offense, but there's something weird about that thing. 
What's weird is your total lack of gift appreciation. Only store-bought gifts for you from now on. Out with a trash! No one's ever happy! Oh, fruit! No, oh, oh my! Who, who short sheeted my bed? <laughs> Sniz! Sniz! The doll with the thing and the moving and the doll! The doll you made is possessed! Oh, please. No, it's true. It's the sickest. Great. Now we have dark. I know it's against your genetic coding, but chill. Besides, Uncle Snizzer happens to have safety flares. What? What? So sorry, sport nut. Huh? What's up? What? <laughs> It's your darling, huh? I just passing by, found it in driveway. <laughs> really, actual, I come for to apologize. Need control me temper. I toss curse too much, so this week I try to cut down. Now, where be is clay I curse for you? Y y you're holding it. So, like you ever went to art school, or you just bond this much talent? Well. <laughs> <laughs> I never did attend any officials. Okie dokie, no more cards. <laughs> and now, me out of here. <laughs> My hat! I can't find my hat! It just disappeared! And we're back. Pardon our attire, but that last Niz and Fondue really stressed us out. And there's nothing like a good massage to take the edge off. A little harder, okay, Chief? I can take it. You might want to take it easy, Henroy. How can I take it easy when I can't even feel the massage? Come on, Twinkle Toes, harder! I'll tell you when it hurts. Okay, that hurts. Now that Henry's relaxed, why don't we all enjoy the deep tissue pleasure of Action League now? Dateline, the Milky Way Galaxy. A mysterious vessel makes its way towards a familiar planet. As the alien craft descends, the Action League expertly guides it to a pinpoint landing. A little left. Good, now right. Ah! Nice catch, Melty. I don't know, mates. I don't care for aliens. They're foreign. Get it, Stinky. The future of intergalactic peace is in our hands. I want you on your best behavior. People of Earth, brothers, we come in peace. Look out! He's going for his laser! Stinky! No! Da -da 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 -da. So much for first impressions. Action League, now starring The Flesh 
He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Melt Man, with the power to melt. Today's episode, science fiction parody. We find our heroes facing an intergalactic embarrassment thanks to the trigger finger of one stinky diver. Stinky? Isn't there something you wanted to say to the aliens? Sorry. Erase, forget, brothers. This historic event, important. We overlook the loss of Zantac, our beloved leader. And so, redoubling their diplomatic efforts, the League introduces their guests to the wonders of Earth civilization. This is called a juicer. Primitive. Juicer, what is? You just push that carrot in and it comes out juice. Try it. <laughs> oh, I'm not drinking that. Okay, brother. This is where a lot of business is done on Earth. Primitive, smelly, take picture. Sure, whatever. Step back, mate. Further. Little more. Almost got it. <laughs> well, there goes my year and bonus. This is the greatest wonder of all, Mr. Alien. A sun reflector. More cocoa butter, little fella? <laughs> Whoopsies. Say, any chance of you guys moving your ship so I can get my legs back? I'm sorry about that light socket, brother alien. I should have warned you about our electrical system. Apology not accepted. Aliens, return to the ship. Earthlings, not brothers. Earth, enemy, prepare to destroy. What's up, Chief? Blast it! These aliens are as touchy as a polecat on a power saw! Come and destruction sequence! Hey! Boy, they are moody! Is this a close encounter of the last kind? Can the Action League defer a doomsday device? Stay tuned for the action-annihilating <laughs> conclusion of Action League Now. Hey, Kablamoids! Stay where you am! There's cartoons to cram! Still to come, Prometheus and Bob, the offbeats. And when we return, more Action League Now, right here on Kablam! Action League Now. An alien delegation squeezed, sewered, sautéed. As the League runs out of diplomatic solutions, time runs out on the entire planet. Nine, eight, seven. I don't want to say I told you so, but I told you so. Somebody shield me from the killer ray. Killer rays? Goodies. Space scum! We win! Hey, that alien! Yeah! Let's eat lunch! Good work, Flesh! Your savage tan saved the entire planet! We thank you! Earth thanks you! I thank me! I guess I owe you an apology, Stinky. No worries, Chief! We show those jokers what happens when you mess with Earth! Please, Please Commander, to the leader! Commence hostility! Destroy! <laughs> The end. You know, the action leaguers aren't the only action figure superstars on Kablam. Ta da! They just came in. Our very own Henry and June posable figurines. 
Wow. Neat. Cool. Henry, check it out. Hi, Kablamowitz. I'm June. Um, where's my string? Karate chopping power! Whoa! Hey, I don't have that either. My doll's a dud. Hmm. Did you try squeezing it? Ooh. <laughs> don't say anything, June. I'm warning you. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 103, Leverage. By now, you probably realize that Kablam! is a global phenomenon. With that in mind, we'd like to extend a hearty hello to all our fans in the historic boot-shaped peninsula of Italy. Are you ready to translate, Henry? Ready when you are, June. Hello, people of Italy. Hello, people of Italy. Welcome to our happy Kablam! family. Welcome to our happy Kablam family! And now, please sit back and enjoy the hilarious escapades of those lovable misfits, the Offbeats. And now, the Offbeats! It's that loser, Rapunzel. You guys better not tease me. Why? I may have won a million bucks. A million bucks? You could buy a lot of cool stuff with that. <laughs> they never stay, never stay small. And the populars don't like them at all. But that's okay, life is sweet. They cool. Ah! They the offbeats. Now that I'm gonna be rich, I can buy anything I want. You just got an entry form, Rapunzel. You haven't won anything yet. In fact, you might not win anything at all. That's what you think. Well, I tried. August? My probability odometerizer puts the odds of you winning anything at 
26 billion to one. Who are you gonna believe, me or the odds? Tommy? I'm only going to say this once, Rapunzel. You're not gonna win! I thought you guys were my friends. don't think I'm gonna win a million bucks, then forget them. Um, Rapunzel, we were thinking, maybe you should hang with us in case you win. That's great! I can't breathe. <laughs> Let's roll. She'd better win. Hey, Betty and Bongo, we're Rapunzel's friends now. So when she wins, you'll get Bupkiss. <laughs> Never mind. Are you sure Rapunzel won't win the sweepstakes? My probability odometerizer is never wrong. Rapunzel's hanging with the populace. What are the chances of that? We have to get her back. When's my yacht going to be delivered? I've been waiting all afternoon. Rapunzel, you have to come back to us. Oh, no, you don't. She's our friend now. The populars are using you to get stuff. Nah, uh These guys are no good. Says who? Says me. I want to stay with the populars, Betty Ann. They believe I'm going to win. We'll miss you. I hope the populars are at least being nice to Rapunzel. That'll teach Rapunzel not to lose another sweepstakes. Yeah. Yeah. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! I lost the sweepstakes. Oh, Rapunzel. Can I still hang out with you guys? Of course. Yay! Look, free shampoo! Hey, if Rapunzel didn't win that sweepstakes, you know what that means. We could have won! Hmm. Junk. 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 Bill. Hey, looky here. What's that? Can't you read? Swack, June. Sealed with a kiss. It's a hot letter. From a female admirer. Oh, cut me an oversized wedge. Dear Henry, you are the handsomest boy on TV. JTT's got nothing on you. <gasps> I love you so much. No. Signed, your biggest fan, Ma. Okay. Um, <laughs> who's it from? Uh, I, I can't read the signature. No! We're out of time. Your mommy. <laughs> Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. and
to take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Howdy, Kablamites. Welcome to the show America Prefers 3 to 1 over Pink Eye. Today, we're kablamming to you almost live from our very own Kablam Studios tour. Where, where we put, put the, the you in, in cartoons. Let's get going here. I'm frying like bacon. Very good, sir. Mr. Foot, don't stop till the fun runs out. Our tour begins here on Prometheus Boulevard. Where up on the right, you will see the home of TV's craziest kid, Loopy. And look out, all you Brussels sprouts, because there's the old Loopster right now. Dollars fans, look over there. Kablam! Super strong, super naked superhero is now super close. Hey there, Flash. Uh, Henry, that's not the Flash. It's just some naked guy. You never know what you'll see on the Kablam Studios tour, but we do know what you'll see next. Action League Now. Dateline, End Table TV Studios. Before a global audience, the Action League's most unclothed member prepares to bear all. Today's topic, heroes that hurt. Flesh, you've got it all. You're super strong and super hot. Yet there's something missing. That's right, Lola. My clothes. Uh, yes, but there's something else, isn't there? You've never met your parents, have you, Flesh? No. I haven't. <laughs> it hurts, I know. But, Flesh, what would you say if I told you that I have a wonderful surprise for you? I'd probably say, is it a burrito? Better. Flesh, meet your long-lost parents. Mommy? Daddy? Fleshy! No! Whoopsies! Now that you're a happy family again, tell me. How are you going to make up for lost time? Oh, we've got plans. Big plans. Action League, now starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Flesh and Blood. We find our heroes at Action Headquarters, rejoicing over the Flesh's remarkable reunion. How come he gets to be on TV? It's just because he's naked. You should see me naked! I'm glorious! Meanwhile, the Flesh family shares some long overdue quality time. Mommy, Daddy, all these years, there's been something I've been dying to know. Maybe you can finally tell me. Was I always this buff? Uh, whoop, no time for questions. Here we are, home sweet home. This is our house? Boy, we must be rich, rich, rich! Not yet, but we will be. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, we sure are rich. Golly, wouldn't you know it, I forgot the keys. Would you mind breaking that window for me, son? Son, I love that. <laughs> Ow! Whoopsies! Ow. Boy, what a pad. This place is a gold mine. What's that, Daddy? Oh, I said I'm in a real bind. I have to move all of our valuables to the car. I'll help! This is even easier than I thought. Buff boy's a real pushover. We are fam! Ow! Whoopsies number two! Ow. Meanwhile, the action couch potatoes continue to vegetate. This just in. 
The Flash and two criminals impersonating his parents have been caught on videotape robbing Megabucks Mansion. We are fam! Oops. Ow! Hey, why does Flesh get to be on TV all the time? He's right. not so great. He's so great. You morons! The Flesh is in more trouble than a snowman in a steam bath. We gotta get a move on! Well, I guess that's everything. Such a good boy. Now let's make our getaway. Uh, I, I mean, let's go. All right, everyone freeze! Oh, you go, Chief. Hi, everybody. Want to see my room? It's not your house, Flesh, and they're not your real parents. They're not? Yes, we are, son. Now come along. Let's book. The only place you're going is up the river, you phonies. Fleshy, stop them. Remember your father's blood pressure. I'm so confused. What do I do? Is action blood thicker than action water? And what does that even mean anyway? Find out in the Action Spawn conclusion of Action League Now. That Action League, they're always in a peck of trouble. Speaking of trouble, Henry, I don't remember this being part of the tour. I think Mr. Foot might have made a wrong turn. Wrong turn, my eye. This thing's on a track. Yeah, somebody save us! We're being invaded by a hubcap! Hey, everybody! It's our favorite intergalactic odd couple, Prometheus and Bob! This might be a good time to remind you to keep your arms and legs inside the tram. And your mouths shut. And while you're at it, Keep your eyes on this next cartoon. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 28, trapping. Hey, hey, hey! 
Spear. Turn more action league now, right here on Kablam! Kablam! Action League now. Imposter parents, bad. Action League, good. As both sides barter for his action soul, a befuddled flesh is faced with an impossible choice. Eeny, meeny, miny, um. Oh, what the heck? I'm staying with Mommy and Daddy. Wrong answer, mate. No step aside. Don't worry, parents. I'll save you. Ow! Oh. Whoopsies number three. Mommy, Daddy! For crying out loud, kid, we're not really your parents. Please, just take us to jail. Yeah, anything safer than being with him. Later that day... I wonder if I ever will meet my parents. I wonder if we'll ever see our son again. Oh, I'm sure we'll run across him someday. Oh, my spine! Medic! The end. Ouchies! The League really got creamed there. I'll say. And for me, Henry, what really made their excruciating pain so hilarious were the amazing sound effects. Absolutely, June. And right now, folks, we're gonna give you an insider's peek at just how we make those effects so amazing. Let's start by taking a look at a classic Kablam moment. Pretty funny, huh? But something's missing. That's right. It's the sound of the anvil conking Henry. Now, let's take a look again. And this time, we'll show you how we create our incredibly lifelike sound effects. Ready, guys? Ow! Beautiful. That's a keeper. Thank you, thank you. That's our favorite sound effect of all. And now, on with the show. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Welcome back! Everybody having a good time? Oh, yeah. Well, all right! We're kablamming you almost live from the Kablam Studios Tour. Where, where we, we put, put the, the you in cartoons. cartoons! And nowhere is that more true than here at the Henry and June Interactive Cartoon Theater. That's right. Thanks to the miracle of kablamineering, visitors can actually experience what it's like to host kablam. It's the thrill of a lifetime for some of our young fans. Let's take a peek, shall we? Hi, I'm Henry! What's the matter, Betty Ann? I think that something's wrong, Go. They never stay, never stay small, and the populace don't like them at all. But that's okay, life is sweet. They cool. Ah! <laughs> they the offbeats. A sprained wrist. What could be worse? <laughs> Hey, Betty Ann, it's about time those bongos hurt something besides our ears. <laughs> Adult! Miss Bongo, what's the damage behind the bandage? Hi, Grubby Gru. I sprained my wrist. Isn't it tragic? No young bongoteer should have to endure injury without a junkyard Sunday to make it feel better. A Grubby Goo Junkyard Sunday? Thanks, Grubby. Why do all the good things always happen to her? He really made you a Junkyard Sunday? Yeah. I heard he wouldn't even make one for the president. I guess. Didn't you like the Sunday, Betty Ann? Yeah, I just miss playing my bongos. You'll see, Betty Ann. The time will go like that. That's easy for you to say. You can snap. Hello, Betty and Bongo. What do you think of this? Oh, oh, my toe. I'm going to get an even bigger junkyard Sunday than you got. That's nice. But I really miss playing my bongos. Your priorities are all screwed up. Dina, what's up, little lady? Oh, Mr. Gru, a helicopter landed on my toe. Let me fix you something cold to ease the pain. Oh, that would be nice. Enjoy. I thought my Bongomatic 640D might make you feel better. Thanks, August. Woo! Morning, Dina. A lot of weather we've been having lately. How about that, Dow Jones? What does it take to beat this beatnik? Cool. <clears throat> Check me out, Betty Ann. It's gonna be an ice cream bonanza. I can play my bongos again. You need counseling. 
hit by a cruise ship. I must say, Tina, that is one sorry predicament. Yeah, it's a drag. Could you put more syrup on that? One junkyard Sunday for the unfortunate Tina. Now Grubby Gru has a concert to view. Help me with this spoon. Well, folks, it's the last stop on our tour. What do you say we go out with a kablam, a kaboom, and a big fat kablooey? Hang on for the ride of your life. It's, it's the, the offbeat stunt spectacular. Hey, it's Betty Ann Bongo. My, that's a groovy beat you're laying down. Uh-oh, here come the populars. Pretty nasty, Tina. But it looks like you picked the wrong day to mess with our resident beatnik. Oh no, they're getting away. But wait, here comes August and September in the Fan Boat Automatic 2000. Uh oh, danger ahoy! Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. See ya. Wouldn't want to be a. Hiawatha! Forget the you, that just put the woo into cartoons! Thanks for hitching a ride with us today! Be sure to tell your friends about the Kablam Studios Tour. And don't forget to stop in at our fine gift shop on the way out. The Henry and June loofah sponges are priced to move. See you next time! Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Greetings, Kablamophiliacs. I'm Henry, and this is June! Don't move! There's a possum on your head. Possum schmossum, Henroid. I'm wearing a limited edition replica of Sam Donaldson's hair. I got it for joining the Sam Donaldson fan club. Sam Donald who? <sighs> Sam Donaldson. He's America's most dynamic and misunderstood newsman. You know, more people get their news from Sam Donaldson than from any other telejournalist. What a joke. Who would want to join his fan club? 
How desperate and insecure do you have to be to start up a club just so millions of people you don't even know can love and worship you? <coughs> Say! I think you hear me knocking, Hanksky, and you know I'm coming in. Stay tuned for all the latest info on the hot new Henry and June fan club. Right after this TV treat from Sniz and Fondue. Uh -huh. The tiny pygmy shrew will viciously attack without any provocation. You are about to hear the testimony of ex-hikers, all of whom had Achilles tendons sliced into prosciutto triplets by the truckload of pygmy shrew. Would you stop? What do you? <laughs> got you! I got for you! Got me? What are you talking about? Practical joked you! I totally fooled you! <laughs> uh, not quite. Now, would you please leave me alone? Under the moonlight. That serious moonlight. Oh, hi, Sniz. Hola. What? No froggy friends today? Not quite. <laughs> mm. I want you to try something. Here we go. <laughs> Chair. Snez, it's so obvious that's not real stomach sample. Hold on! Hey. <laughs> Let me explain something. A prank is a seemingly innocent situation cleverly twisted to result in an amusing and unexpected shenanigan. Not a mindless act of aggression! Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, come in. Wait. What in the world of assorted fruits? your mind? Guess I found my talent arena. I'm a professional practical joker. Hardly. Woo, you definitely have no sense of humorousness. And you definitely have no clue. You are not a practical jokester and never will be. <laughs> M2! And because I value your opinion so much, I'm gonna prove it. You should have seen the... You should have... 
<laughs> you are truly the prankiest of pranksters! <laughs> the funniest of funsters! <laughs> <laughs> now that Sniz and Fondue are in the nut house, they're gonna need some good reading material. May I suggest a copy of the official Henry and June fan club newsletter? It's ready? Ha diggity kablam! A day in the life of Henry? Henry's three alarm chili recipe? Henry the Great I Am I Am? There's nothing in here about me! Where's Juice Junior Jumble? Sorry, June. I'm just giving the people what they want. I'll show you what the people want! This means war, you dirtbag! I'm starting my own fan club! Right after this nifty adventure from America's favorite injection molded Nimrods, action lead now! Dateline, the mayoral mansion where his dishonor, the mayor, recklessly exploits a risky technology. Ha <laughs> ha! Thanks to my new nuclear reactor, I could have all the cheap, unsafe energy I want. Look at me, Ma! On top of the world! Meanwhile, at Spin Cycle Nuclear Reactor, the mayor's power drain puts an innocent schoolgirl on a collision course with Danger. Darn it. I wish I were a superhero. Then I wouldn't have to go to school. Yeah! Oh, no! A nuclear disaster! Ooh, gross! Action League, now. Starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, The Quirky Syndrome. We find our heroes at Action Headquarters, ready to respond to an impending nuclear nightmare. Action League away! Far away. Wait, there's nowhere to run. That reactor is about to blow. And when it does, it'll wipe out every living organism on the planet. Gee, I guess we'll have to go to Europe then. Show some spine, you action weenies. You heard Bill the lab guy. We've got to pull the plug on that blasted reactor. Now let's move out. Meanwhile. Hello, smarter image. I'd like to order your electronic pants presser, mustache trimmer, Mr. Latte. <laughs> Well, if it isn't those meddling action idiots, <laughs> this ought to cut them down to size. Uh-oh, we've got company. Goody, I love company. Phew, oh, that was a close shave. As the League goes to pieces, a radiated lab girl goes haywire. Daddy, what's happening to me? Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, sweetheart. It's called puberty. Your body is changing in strange and wonderful ways. Oops. That's perfectly normal. Meanwhile, the water level is dangerously low, sir. If we don't shut down the reactor now, it's gonna blow. Thank you for your opinion, Gunderson. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Ah! Ah! Run for your life! Uh-oh, here's trouble. Europe, here I come. Will one man's greed destroy a perfectly good planet? 
with the League members dismembered, can anyone stave off the Earth's destruction? Stay tuned for the action-contaminated conclusion of Action League Now. Hey, Koblamoids! Stay where you am! There's cartoons to cram! Still to come, Prometheus and Bob! The Brothers Tiki! And when we return, more Action League Now! Right here on Koblam! Koblam! Action League Now! A reactor, critical mass. A league, critical mulch. With the fate of the Earth hanging in the balance, all eyes turn to an intrepid lab guy. There's nothing I can do. Maybe there's something I can do. Quirky? Not quirky, Daddy. Super Team! Super Team away! Oh. Quirky. I mean Super Team. Get down from there, or you're in a load of trouble. Load? Load! That's it! I think I found a problem! That does it. Freakish Mutant or no Freakish Mutant, you're grounded. Nuclear power? Say hello to Team Power! I hate Mondays. Moments later. We're here, hooray for us! Good work, Bill the Lab Guy! It wasn't me, it was my daughter. Look, guys, I'm a superhero just like you! Yeah, right. Nice try. That's a good one. Hey, Quirky, isn't it a little early for Halloween? The name's Super Team. <laughs> Right. Got it. Super team, check. Got it! The end. Friends, if you like Action League now, then you'll want to join Henry's Fan Club now. Just for joining, you'll get an I Heart Henry Iron On patch of your favorite Kablammy host, me! And for a limited time, I'll throw in this special offer. Henry's Mystery Bag. Chock full of mystery things known only to, you guessed it, me! Hello. The June Fan Club is only offering one gift item, but we think you'll agree it's a very special one. Ladies and gentlemen, the Henry doll. Ha! How pathetic. You can only get members by using me. True, Henroid, but like you said, I'm just giving the people what they want. Ow! Ouch! Yikes! The Henry doll is great fun for June fans of all ages. Just like our next cartoon, Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape 63, Farmer. Uh-uh. Huh? What? Uh -huh.
end. Kablam! Welcome back, folks. I would like to take this time to apologize profusely for my behavior today. May I interject to say ditto? This fan club rivalry has really gotten out of hand. Well said, fellow co-host. We both know there's a much more mature way for us to settle our differences. To the robotic fighting machines! Prepare to taste hot metal fury! Vamos a la playa! That's Spanish for my lasers, his face. from Central Command. We have received word of a possible downed craft in your sector. Please investigate and report back. Craft identification complete. She's one of ours. Rescue team, go. The brothers team. Commander's Journal. We've landed near some bizarre place of worship. Bingo! Maverick craft located. Initiating rescue. Tiki Knot away! Tiki Knot secure? Ah, uh, check. Terra Firma Conferma. Prepare for release. Uh, check. You're on your own. Remember, no hot dogging. Yeah, that's, uh, Checkadelic Chuck. That's Commander Chuck. Possible hostile alien. You are a piece of me. <laughs> Do ya? I didn't think so. It looks quiet. Too quiet. What's happening? Come in, Tiki Knot, come in! Man down, man down, Mayday, Mayday, I'm on my way! A very heroic display, but obviously I need no assistance. This atmosphere is perfectly breathable. Breathable? Wow. I was starting to humidify in my nether regions. Wow. Sheesh. Commander's Journal. The entire crew of the downed craft, I fear, is lost. Victims of some unforeseen evil. I will now perform a brief ceremony for our fallen comrades. <laughs> what mysteries lie beyond this life? <sighs> what grand scheme awaits us? Why now? Where now? <laughs> what now? I wasn't finished yet. Time, Time to, to totemize! Prepare to taste Tiki Wrath, unholy beast. It's jamming our system. Got to fight the beat. Engage freeze mode. Will you stop dancing? Huh? Go, 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 go! Commander to ship, code red! Perimeter breach in progress! Initiate auto defense mode! Weapons engage, prepare to fire! Fire! 
Ah, the ship! This is bad. Okay, honey. Now stand back while I fire this baby up. <laughs> Possible final entry. Ship destroyed. We are marooned. Only hope is to lay low and wait for rescue. Must survive by our wits. Oh. Peekaboo, I see you. Help me. We interrupt our regularly scheduled program to bring you a special report. Here now, the dynamic, misunderstood Sam Donaldson. The fan club war continues to rage, shattering the once tranquil set of Cub Blam. This is some of the worst animated fighting in a bloody century of cartoon conflicts. But what can you expect in a world where everyone gets their 15 minutes of fame? They're bound to spend 10 of them acting like hooligans. Sam's right, June. Of course he is, Henry. You know, more people get their news from Sam Donaldson than from any other telejournalist. June, we've let our lust for fame go to our heads. What do you say? Truce? Truce. Most eloquent. Another news tonight, members of my hot fan club can now receive their very own Sam Donaldson robotic fighting machines. Just like the ones Diane and I use on Prime Time Live. Oy vey. Well, that's about all for today, folks. Thanks to all our fans for watching. So until next time, we'll catch you on the Kablam side. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Assume the crash position. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. and comics collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Greetings, Henry and June here, welcoming you to a very special kablam. That's right, it's Parents' Day. <laughs> There he is, folks, the guy who drives me to school. The big kahuna himself, my dad. Hey, slugger, you call that a handshake? And now, let's give a big kablam welcome to the lady who made me what I am today, my mom. Stand up straight, honey. You're much too handsome to slouch. Mom? So, Dad, what do you think of the show so far? Where's this, uh, butthead guy? Um, Dad, that's the wrong cartoon. Henry, are you warm enough? Maybe you should put on a sweater. I'm fine, Mom. I'll go get you a sweater. <sighs> and, uh, I think I'll go use the head. I have a feeling this is gonna be a long show. Dateline, Action Headquarters, where the Action League ponders a peace offer from their oldest and greatest foe. It's incredible! The mayor has called a truce! 
And to show his goodwill, he's invited us over for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah! Yeah! Right. It's a trap! A leopard can't change his spots, you know. Count me out. But Stinky, free turkey! Stinky, there can be no peace without trust. You're going and that's an order! Sorry, Chief. Here's me action badge. I never go where I smell a rat. Big words from a guy who lives in a toilet. <laughs> Ow! Action League. Now, starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl. She flies like thunder. Stinky Diver. A former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Melt Man. With the power to... Melt. Today's episode, Turkey of Terror. We find our heroes at the mayoral mansion, awed by the gravity of their mission. Gangway, I smell stuffing. Say, could I get a little help with this badge? Okie dokie. Ah! Ow. Now I want everyone on their best behavior. This Thanksgiving dinner could open the door to a new era of world peace. Surely you mean world pieces. <laughs> Meanwhile, a fetid frogman takes comfort in a holiday at home. Smells good, Mom. It's great to have Thanksgiving with the people who love and support you. So you couldn't hold a job, eh, son? I suppose you'll be wanting to join up with me in stench now. Shut your gob, Rank. My baby's too good to pump septic tanks. Shut my gob. Shut your gob, you saggy head old sow. Hey, Mom's not old. That's you. <laughs> Blimey, it's justice. He's got me badge. What is it, boy? There's trouble? The Action League needs rescuing? Thanks, Justice. I owe you one for rescuing me! Oh, my head. Where are we? What's cooking, ugly looking? <laughs> Ow! I don't know, but my gut tells me the mayor's broken the truce. Is this the final fatal feast for our heroes? Can the estranged Stinky get there before the dinner bell? Stay tuned for the action stuff conclusion of Action League now. Heavens to Betsy, this is covered in smudges. So, Dad, what do you think of Action League now? How much do those guys make? I don't understand why that one character has to be naked. That's part of the joke, obviously. My question is, how come their lips don't move? Boy, those lights are bright. Henry, give me a boost here, would you, big guy? Uh, I don't know if I... Ooh. Dad! Dad, we've got people for that. Come on, champ, steady. You're too heavy for him. Now look what you've done, you big ox. Hey, excuse me for trying to treat the kid like a man. Um, guys, this is supposed to be a cartoon show, you know, as in fun. So why don't we all just mellow out with a little Prometheus and Bob? Is anyone going to be naked in that? Because if they are, I'm not watching. <sighs> What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob Tapes. Tape number five, breakfast. Hey, hey, hey. 
Still to come, Life with Loopy, the Brothers Tiki. And when we return, more Action League now, right here on Kablam! Kablam! The Action League squashed, skewered, scalded. As the mayor dishes up danger, Stinky Diver prepares a recipe for rescue. Okay, mayor, the party's over. <laughs> You're too late, Smelly. In a few minutes, the action goose will be cooked. Medium rare. Uh-oh. <laughs> Those who cook and run away live to cook another day. One final super flesh effort. Ah! Uh oh, here's trouble. <laughs> Well, let's eat. Hey, wait for me. Stinky! You're back! Goody! We owe you an apology, Stinky. You were right about the mayor. I'm just happy to be back. I realize now we're... We're our family. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, Stinky! Oh, shut your gob and pass me a wing! The end. Welcome back to Parents' Day. You know, that Action Man cartoon reminded me of the time Henry was in the Thanksgiving Day pageant at school. Mom, please don't. Isn't that the cutest little Billy Wilgrim you ever saw? Uh. Hey, no one told me we were doing show and tell. You want to see something cute? Take a look at this. That's June at two and a half. Quite the little chubber, wasn't she? This isn't happening. What's that, dear? Uh, I, I, I said, um, something great's happening next. It's Life with Loopy. Hey, Larry here. You know, when it comes to thrills, there are two things that top my list. The martial arts. Hi, <laughs> And the Charlie Chicken Show. Plan 9 
from outer space. So imagine how I felt last Thursday night. It's like chicken heads. The annual Charlie Chicken Road Show is coming to your town. Don't miss Kung Fu Chickens on Ice. I spent the next two days studying the ancient art of Kluk Fu. and becoming one with my inner chicken. Cluck, cluck, cluck. Now nothing could stop me from having the entertainment experience of a lifetime. Nothing except. Larry, I think it would be nice if you took Loopy with you to the show tomorrow. I offered a convincing argument. No! But Mom had made up her mind. If I went, Loopy had to go too. Woohoo! Which brought up an interesting question. How can you achieve chicken nirvana when your sister's got the attention span of a soap dish? When's it gonna start, Larry? Are there gonna be any monster trucks? Hey, I'm hungry. Think they have any chili popcorn? Listen here, you tag-along twerp. Ladies and gentlemen, put your wings together and give a big cock a doodle doo for Charlie Chicken and Turkey Thompson. <laughs> Will he? I'll give that cluck something to squawk about. Here, kid. Hurry up and hold this. Hi! Oh, no. Okay, you martial arts menace. Prepare yourself for chicken stance with drumstick kick. Leap and loopy with messy dress. <laughs> Just a bit have it with you, kid. Five fingers foul of fury! Oops. He's out cold. It's frozen solid. I knew he shouldn't have done the show on ice. I couldn't believe it. The biggest day of my life had been sabotaged by my own sister. This is a disaster. How are we gonna finish the show? Don't get your stuff in all steamed up, Turkey. I know somebody who knows all the moves. He's crazy for Cluck Fu. He's Charlie's number one fan. He's my brother Larry. And that's when I realized that all those hours in front of the TV had actually paid off. Because two minutes later, I was out there skating in the master's footsteps. It was a dream come true. And it was all thanks to my number one fan, my sister Luffy. Well, Kablammers, our Parents' Day special just keeps rolling along. Excuse me, June, dear, but maybe Henry should do this introduction. You did do the last one. Whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? He did the first two. Shouldn't you be off breaking something? Now you listen here. I've never tangled with a woman before, and I don't intend to start now, but... Oof! Mom! Dad! Okay, let's go. What should we do? Ditch. Let's keep it. 
Commander's Journal. We are still marooned. Situation tense. Seedling is engaged in some kind of bizarre purification rite. While the Overlord is manipulating a device eerily similar to our own shop vac. Hey, Are you trying to reveal our location with that infernal cacophony? Keep it down! Relax, Commander Bro. I'm just trying to pick up some heavy, heavy beats from back home. Funny, I don't recall anything about heavy, heavy beats in the Tiki Knot Handbook. Wait a minute. Can you send signals with that contraption? Nah, too much interference. Antenna's not high enough. Hmm, I see. Oh, there was a way to get it higher. To Kids, come in the house for cake. Pinky. There must be another way. How's your signal? Okay, hold on. I'll give you a little more slack. Ah! 10-4, Commodore. We're good to go. I think I've got something, Chucklehead. Chuck? Chuck! Hey, if you don't mind. I pull a little Chuck up, Chuck up. Spare me. Commander's Journal. We have constructed an elementary air module in order to facilitate communication. Go, daddy -o. Darling, finally we're alone. And listen, they're playing our song. What's this garbage? I can't get rid of it. Wait, it's a Tiki Knot distress call. Lock in the tractor beam. Aye, aye, Commander Sassy. What's this? A tractor beam? We're saved! We're going home, little brother! Ah, uh, Binky, my pet! <sighs> Steady, man. Steady. <sighs> Stay on task. <laughs> hey! Woohoo! I want you back here on the count of three. One, two, two and a half, two and three quarters. Jeez. You blew it, mister! I did what I could! Now you're on your own! It'll be fine. I'll receive a hero's welcome. I'll get a new ship and... Mother will understand. Oh, brother. Mother was right. You will be my downfall. Well, at least it will be a soft landing. <laughs> oh, 
um, welcome back. That last cartoon sure was, uh, the bomb, wasn't it? You bet, Lois. It was Kablamma Lemma Roma. Uh, who are we kidding? We don't belong out here. You're right, Phil. Here we've got two great kids and we're ruining their show. I feel like a horse's patootie. Me too. Henry! June! We're sorry. Can you forgive us? Well, what do you think, Henry? Hmm, I guess so. All right! Well, Kablammers, that's about all for today. We'll see you next time. Would you guys do the honors? Sure. You betcha. Ah, uh, nobody move me. I think it's a disc. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. collide. Now to take you inside and turn the pages, here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey there, Kablamocrats. Welcome to Ka Welcome to... It's a new comic strip that moved in upstairs. Herman the Horrible. Horrible is right. Ever read that strip? Bunch of Vikings sitting around picking their noses. I'll take care of this. Pipe down, you Nimrods! Step aside, little lady. Let a man handle this. Ooh, muy macho. Knocker. Hey, neighbor. Love the comic, man. Some funny, funny stuff. Say, I was just wondering, how come you young, good-looking Norsemen aren't out pillaging the countryside? Yeah, right, men, speed it! <laughs> Folks, my co-host is, um, how do we put this delicately? S stupider than Sniz and Fondue combined. Watch this and see if you agree. Crazy capper today. Oh! As decreed by the ancients, the hat shall not leave at the noggin of the chosen one. I have spoken. No, oh, come on! Nope. Willy, well, well.
Well then, in that case, I'm gonna slam myself to the floor repeatedly until you loan me the hat. Neurological damage there. Oh, my poor Snizzy. Tell you what, when, when you get out of the hospital, I, I, I'm gonna loan you my hat for two whole hours. <laughs> No charge, you have fantastic life. All three Shabbies for the price of one. And of course, currency eludes me. You, you have the look that Deluxe Cinemas wants to see in more of its patrons. Skimbor, I find the atmosphere on this planet wonderfully intoxicating. You said it, Captain. Oh, fruits. He's probably halfway to Ecuador by now. He's only five minutes late. You are so naive. Get over yourself. It's just a stupid hat. You insensitive fool. That hat is my essence. Hey! I make it! Sport not. I found this old box of hats from when I did theater. Dig, man. So weak. You. Your two hours are so up, you little hat klepto. Hey, come on! That cap's working for me! Of course it is. That's the awesome power of Le Bleu Chapeau. Observe how it works on the head of the master. Simone, nasty freako directly behind. Satnan! <laughs> A wedge. Watch this. For you, free ice cream. Oh, wait. I'm forgetting the rainbow sprinkles. There, you see? I it's not the hat, it's Sniz. Hey, uh, Snizzy. Yes, sir? You can wear the hat some more. As much as you want. Mm -hmm. oh, thanks. I need a new look, anywho. Now, don't you feel like a big, whiny baby? All that fuss over little headwear. Sheesh. Well, I... Going downtown and my baby's gonna be all right. <gasps> I just love my new look! Thanks! <laughs> Sniz and fondue, ladies and gentlemen. Pure chewing satisfaction. Look, Henry, a package from Herman. 
He must be apologizing for pillaging our set. All right. Nordicorific. No way. I'm not getting a hat head. Good. You got the helmets. <laughs> While Lars helps me rouse Henry, check out some other head and dirt heroes. It's action lead now. Dateline, Bill the Lab Guy's laboratory, where a beleaguered action leaguer turns to a trusted friend for help. Bill, can we talk for a minute? No, go away. You know what my problem is, Bill? I'm a joke. All I can do is melt. Big whoop. Is there any way you can give me some real powers? There's nothing I can do. I'm too busy working on a secret formula that makes people really big. Really big, huh? Loving you is easy cause you're beautiful. Do 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 do. I'm so in love with you. Hmm, minty. No, I was afraid of this. Whoa! Hey, look at me! I'm Mega Melty! Meltman, that formula's not ready. It still needs to be tested. Test smashed. I'm living large now, baby. Yahoo! Ouch, ow, ooh. Sorry. Hurts, ow, medic. Action League, now. Starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to melt. Today's episode, Meltman at Large. We find our heroes under a bed in the midst of a top secret action briefing. Okay, you guys, listen up. The president's in town next week. Thunder Girl, I'm going to need your super flying power. Flesh, your super strength. Stinky, your super sharp shooting. That's where Melt Man. Um. Um. Well, uh. He can get the donuts. Donuts, donuts, donuts. <laughs> Think again, Pip Squeaks. Collars, Melty. You look different. Did you get a haircut? No, you moron. He obviously drank Bill's secret formula. Mount Man, you're suspended! Au contraire, Chiefster. You're suspended. All of you are. In the air. Hey! What are you doing? Ah, Let's put go! Me down! Not having fun. Action facts. It must be for Mega Mount Man. Put us down, you freak! Oh! Trouble at Backyard State Park. Birthday party. Kids in danger. To the Action Mobile. Action, action League, League away! I've got Frenzies. Oh, my spine! Ouchies. Man, this car has zero leg room. Mountain Man, you idiot! We were those kids' only hope. Don't worry, Chief. I'll go solo on this one. Mega Melt Man oh. away! Oh. Ouchies again. And so, as a mammoth melted meathead makes his way... Hey! Wait! Darn! Aw, oh, crud! Two terrified tykes hang on for dear life. Help! Help! We're stuck! Can an inflated imbecile head off an inflated imbroglio? Stay tuned for the action-engorged conclusion of Action League Now. Action League, now. Meltman enlarged. Kids ensnared. The League en smashed. As time runs out on a pair of petrified pre-adolescents, a big bozo races to the rescue. Sorry, pal. I don't have any cash and uh, no pockets. Never fear, young citizens. Mega Meltman is here. All right, it's Meltman, and he's big. We're safe. Hooray! 
I'm Mega Meltman with the power to. Ow! We're toast. Don't worry, young Americans. I'm. Uh, I'll. Coming! With my incredible super size, I'll. Uh, uh, just missed. Hang on. Don't quit your day job. Mega Meltman with the power to climb on a bench. Here you go, leaders of tomorrow. Now run along and play without fear. Thanks, Meltman. That's Mega Meltman. Yeah, whatever. All right, Melty. Hooray for you, Bully. Good work, Mega Meltman. Thanks, Chief. Now, maybe we should discuss my mega salary increase. And how about a mega apology from the rest of you guys? Meltman, wait. There's something I have to tell you. Save it, Bill. I'm on a roll. Hey, what the? I was just going to say that the effect of the drug is temporary. Well, at least Melty got his raise. Boy, I'm sure gonna miss him. Me too. Who's gonna get us donuts? <laughs> <laughs> the end. Wow, that action league was. That's it. I'm stopping this insanity. What's that? It's the same super growth potion that Meltman just used. It's time to kick some Viking Heidi and take some Viking names. You can see it coming, can't you, folks? Glamours. Without Henry, this show wouldn't be ah! half as entertaining. Here now, Prometheus and Bob. What you are about to see is top secret. It is a videotape recorded 900,000 years ago by an alien using a remote-controlled camera. It shows his attempts to educate a caveman. They have been codenamed the Prometheus and Bob tapes. Tape number 97, construction. Ha, ha, ha. 
What are they doing here? I invited them down. Hey, they brought snacks. You invited them here? But they beat me like a speeding ticket. Mmm, hummus. Don't worry, Henry. Once they get a load of our next cartoon, they'll be so in touch with their feelings, they won't hurt a flea. This is not going to end well. Psst. Wanna see what I'm thinking? There's all kinds of stuff in the head of the girl. I'm the girl with her head coming off. How come if you like a person, it's easy to make friends, but if you really like them, it gets so hard? I wish it could just be simple, like with my sister Jill and her new best friend Charlie. His name's Cousin Charlie. There's no way he's our cousin. And we have a new hobby. Ants! Look, this citizen ant has died. Now its fellow citizens will work together to bring the body to the burial pile. Amazing, eh? But isn't it kind of sad? Jill, there's no sadness in the world of bugs. And in the world of me? All through math today, I was thinking about my biggest crush ever. Elvin. And then, just when I turned to look outside, it was perfect timing for him to go by. Look here, look here. Alice, look here. And he would have looked, too, if it wasn't for Mr. Poot. And as if that wasn't torture enough, when it was finally time to go home, I almost fell over him on the steps. He was sitting with Sedona Hayes, of course, why wouldn't he be with her? They are both the ultimate. Nice motorcycle. Cool. Nice hat. Cool. It was almost like too much. Like their being together made a black hole of coolness. Elvin, I think you're sitting on my hair. Cool. When I got home, the ants had escaped. No stepping on the floor! Where the dickens is that bug spray? Bug spray? No! <sighs> Mom could tell I was too upset to help. I kept thinking about how they say, if you've got it, flaunt it. But what if you don't? Why do humans have to be so different? Why can't we be more like the ants? Citizen Alice? This stinking hunk of food will be most fine for the dawn of perfection ritual. Yes, we must transport it to the home of all others. Allow me to help fellow citizens, for all must be equal in our perfect bug society. However, there seems to be something more equal about you. Yeah? Brother! Sister! I, I can't hold this by myself! Mom decided to bug bomb the house. <laughs> Alice, please, take them for ice cream. Cousins, I'm thinking of number between two and seven. Fifty-four? That's it. Hey, Alice, isn't that your friend, that Elvin guy? Wild. He's so loud and so, so... Good catch. What are you doing? Well, you know how after a wedding, they tie all those cans and junk to the car so it makes that really cool noise? It's kind of like that. I bet if you put some pennies or, or little rocks in, you could really make a racket. Thanks. Hey, Dorco! We don't have all day. I guess I better go. Yeah, see you around, Dorco. After that, I just had to run. It was hard to figure out if I had scored coolness points or if Elvin had lost them, but who could care? And the next thing I knew, I was in a hopping race with Jill and Charlie, and you know, I didn't even mind calling him cousin. 
that's done. Now I can put my head back on. Who is responsible for showing us this cartoon? It was June's idea, I swear. I told her. Run for your lives! You are the shower of this cartoon filled with such sensitivityness! Oh, um, I thought you would like the car cartoon. Like it? I loved it! It was the most beautiful cartoon ever! Now, give Herman a hug! <laughs> the feelings! The emotion! The love. It makes us want to. Village! Village! Well, I guess if we can't beat them, join them. So we'll see you next time, Kablam Chops. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. Kablamaholics, welcome to another stain-free episode of Kablam! I'm June, and this is... Henry, it's not that bad. Henry got a haircut, and he's embarrassed to come out. Come on, we've got cartoons to cram. Are you... Moosed? I feel like Dan Rather. You know, Hanksky, that dude would be aces if you just unshaped it a little. Who? Are you sure you know what you're doing? Why do you always ask me that? How does it look? Uh... Almost done. Just want to give you a tad more volume. <laughs> that tickles. Okay, enough. Give me the mirror. It's broken. I'll just have to use the one in my dressing room. Thanks, June. You're aces. Well, all right. And speaking of disasters... Ah! June! Here's Action League Now. Dateline, Patio Park, where the Action League commemorates another year of safeguarding the universe with their annual company picnic. Mmm, -hmm. I tell you, Justice, these hot dogs are better than a back rub at a bowling alley. <laughs> a three-legged race. Oh, goody. Oh! Oh! Ah! <laughs> Spot on, Chief. Hey, everybody. The Chief wants to play charades. All right. Goody. How many syllables? Sounds like... <laughs> Joking. Whoa, Chief. That's cheating. Blimey. He's not playing games. He's strangulating. Don't worry, Chief. I got your back. Oh! Ow! 
Remember to chew more carefully next time. Come on, team. Our work here is done. Wait, who are you guys? We're the Danger Society, the new superheroes in town. Action League, now. Starring the flesh, he's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to um, melt. Today's episode, Danger Society. With a new band of superheroes in town, the Action League faces a new kind of challenge. Nine ball, side pocket. Have you guys noticed that the action phone hasn't been ringing much lately? I guess it's because we've made the world such a safe place. Ah! Where are they off to in such a hurry? Okay, you clowns, listen up! I'm just gonna call for my boss, the top man. We've been laid off! The Danger Society's taking over! What? You mean? No more work! Yay! Yeah! And no more free lunch at the Action Commissary. Boo! We've got to do something! Mates, it's time to kick some society bottoms and take some society names! You got that yes, right, please. Jack. Moments later at the Danger Society Crisis Center. Okay, you geezers, fun's over. We're shutting you down. Come on, mates, let's bust this place up. Hey, Frogman, what's your beat? We're the superheroes in this territory, so take a hike. Ouch! Uh, guys, little help? Are you sure you guys are actually superheroes? Watch this. Thunder Girl flying like fun. Ah! Oof! Captain Co Blue, school kids in danger. No time to lose. Danger Society away. Try Action League away, Mr. Man. I don't have time to argue. Lives are at stake. Tell you what, we both go. Whoever saves the most victims wins. Losers leave town for good. We can't gamble with human lives. Chicken! Buck, 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 buck. Buck. Chicken! But... Okay, fine, just hurry! Is this the League's last hurrah? Ah! Or are we stuck with them forever? Stay tuned for the episode-ending conclusion of Action League Now. This is bad. This is really bad. Relax, Henry. How can I relax when the Action League is up a creek in a chicken wire canoe? They're gonna have to leave town! Forever! No, they're not. June, were you watching the cartoon? They're dead meat! They're toast! They're dead meat on toast! After today, we'll never see the Action League again. <laughs> This is next week's basic cable guide, and it says... The Action League is up to its ears in danger and diapers when Big Baby crawls into town. See, Henry? They're not going anywhere. Wait. Did you say Big Baby? There's no way they can beat that freak. They're doomed. Doomed. <laughs> The Action League will be okay. It's Henry I'm worried about. Hey, Koblamoid! Stay where you am! There's cartoons to cram! Still to come, Big Top! The Offbeats! And when we return, more Action League now! Right here on Koblam! With real superheroes threatening Action Turf, the League must bet their future on a perilous rescue. Have they got the right stuff? Uh-uh. Too dangerous. Get real. Come on, Danger Society. It's Sloppy Joe Day at the Commissary. Superheroes eat free. Everybody, rubber suits, 
Johnny, cut that power. Carol, get the chopper airborne on the double. Hmm, maybe we should have mentioned the new salad bar. Moments later. Uh, <laughs> what am I going to do for the jaw? Pump septic tanks with me, Dad? What a joke with the power to melt. What kind of power is that? Quit your whining, <laughs> Meltman. You're giving me a migraine. Oh, yeah, Miss Flies Like Thunder. Newsflash, thunder doesn't fly. Action League, you left so quickly, you didn't have a chance to tell us. What in the world ever made you call yourself superheroes in the first place? Ha, ha, ha! Ha, ha, ha! We're super lucky! Mates, we're back in business! Who's up for free lunch? Me! Yep, Yay! please! Me! The end. Now and forever! Henry, we gotta keep the mojo flowing here. The heck with the script. Let's just turn the page. Spot on, June. Hey, wait! Why do you get to turn the page? You turn the last two. Oh, Henry, who's counting? Me! Look what you did! What I did? We are going to get in so much trouble. Don't get a goiter, Henroid. We can fix it. Oh, great. Tape. Yeah, like they won't notice there's a big, stupid piece of tape on it. That's your solution to everything. I'll just put some tape on it. Oh, yeah? Well, let me tell you something. It works for me, Henry. Just like our next cartoon. I know you, my friends, would join me. <laughs> Tallulah, what are we gonna do? If Bravado steps into that ring tonight, this town is gonna crush us like... like... You saw the news! Bath water! You I can't believe the media! No worries! They won't even notice this teeny little circle! What do you mean, teeny little? I'm juiced! Tonight my act will level this little town! That's exactly what was on my mind. Bravado, I was thinking that maybe And for you, my friend, a special surprise! I made it myself! Ah! How many more of these do you plan on putting up? No more. Phew. Where could I put more? Ah! Why the beans did you do that? Avada, 
You're not going on tonight. What? But why? It's... it's the net. It's up and cleaned. Net. Nets are for fishes. And... and the tightrope. It's... it's... loose. Bravado goes on tonight. You won't. I will. You won't. I will. You won't. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Stop at wearing ringmaster cats. Welcome back. You know, we like to think of Kablam as a show the whole family can enjoy. And so do our advertisers. That's right, Hendrik. And what says family better than a good old fashioned sing along? Everybody ready? Kablam, I kablammer in the morning. I, I kablammer in, in the evening, cause I love to kablam. I kablammer for Meltman. I kablammer for Thundergirl. I kablammer for Loopy and Larry, August and September. And that frustrated spaceman, Prometheus. I'm a cartoon crammer, and I love to kablam. When I watch kablam, I kablammer in the morning. I kablammer in the evening, cause I love to kablam. I kablammer for Henry, who is ruining this song. Then I'd introduce the next cartoon that I plan to cram. It's the offbeats. I'm a cartoon crammer, and I love to kablam. I'm a cartoon. 
tune grammar and I love to cobbleam. You sure you'll be all right, September? Once I go for the paddle ball record, I can't stop. I'll muddle through somehow. You want to watch? Sure. One, two. I get the idea. Hey, September, I could take care of you. My dream come true. Really? No, not really. That was sarcasm. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> they never stay, never stay small. And the populace don't like them at all. But that's okay. Life is sweet. They cool. Ah! They the offbeats. What you doing, August? I'm going to break the paddle ball record of 3,400,767 consecutive paddles. Cool. What number are you up to now? 83. I'll come back. Isn't this great? I can't wait for 42,009. That's my favorite number in the world. Why isn't September here? I don't know. What could be more fun for a dog than watching this? Baby! 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 Ah, my evening meal. Hmm. Open. Tommy, stop playing with the light. I'm bored. But he's almost on 42,009. I already did 42,009. I missed it? The boy opens these all the time. I will feed myself. Wow! Oh, darn it! I do not need help. Hi, September. How's my favorite puppy? Swell. No, not swell. Please feed me. You and your silly sarcasm. No, really. I am very, very hungry. <laughs> silly puppy. You make me laugh. <laughs> I am not a silly puppy. I am a famished dog. Silly puppy. Famished dog. Extra silly puppy. Uh... <laughs> Ivan, gotta go. August is about to break the paddle ball record. August. Keep going, August. Only 40 left. You were right, Betty Ann. Once you get past that second million, it's really exciting. 25 to go. Is September coming? No, he's napping, silly puppy. What fun is breaking a record if your dog isn't there to see it? <laughs> September, you made it. Hey, what's wrong, boy? You look terrible. Seven more. <laughs> September? What about the paddle ball record? September needs me. Okay, everybody ready? Ready. Ready, August. Ready. Ready. One, two, three, four, <sighs> five, six, seven, eight. Well, that just about does it. Henry, what are you doing? The Offbeats has inspired me to set my own world record. Start counting, June. One. Wait, I know. Henry, just give it up. Not until I set a world record. Very good. Now we really have to say goodbye. 
No one's going anywhere till I set a world record. Hey, I know a record you can break. Really? What? The human field goal. Well, that concludes another record-breaking episode of Kablam! See you next time! Join us again next time! Same Kablam time, same Kablam network! Hold on tight. Take a deep breath for a new kind of cartoon show. Take you inside and turn the pages. Here are your hosts, Henry and June. Hey, Kablamocrats! Welcome to another sinus draining episode of Kablam! I'm Henry. And I'm June. And this sturdy young college boy is our new intern, Lyle Baxter. The kid is spending a semester with us so we can learn the TV ropes from two of Basic Cable's hottest young stars. That'd be us. <sighs> Any questions so far, Lyle? Well, actually, I do have a question, but it's kind of dumb. Lyle, the first rule of broadcasting is that there are no dumb questions. Okay, then... Um, you know how you guys say that Kablam is where cartoons and comics collide? This is the place! Okay, well, uh, what does that really mean, anyway? Lyle, how would you like to turn the page? <gasps> you mean it? Me? Ah! Ah! Those fleas stayed on my head exclusively! But no! They had to hide zillions of eggs around the house! I, for one, am fed up with Scuzz Boy messing up our domestic domesticity! No, oh, come on! You know your life's better when you love me! Everything's a joke to you, isn't it? We're out on the street because of you, and you don't care one iota! Oh, but I. Whoa! Dig it! Amazing how someone so small can cause a disaster so large. Cut me at least a junior-sized wedge. We're only banished for one night. Think of it as a dream vacation. <laughs> Jonas, what do you mean you're not gonna room with me? I mean I'm not gonna room with you. But I'm clean now. My body is no longer playground to the parasite elite. Look. I've had it with you and your lifestyle, so please back off. If I don't get some sniz-free reality, who knows what kind of syndrome I'll develop. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. Oh, Yessie, you can't believe how good it feels. 
A whole six inches of solid paperboard hotel wall separating us from that... Can you believe it? Connecting rooms! <laughs> Everyone stay on his or her own side and bother his or her own roommate. You know the drill. Lather, rinse, repeat. I can't believe this. I'm showering. I'm actually showering. Yo, Banana Head, did you just hear what I... Yes! Chill, panicky guy. Oi, me stupid. What? I forgot my suitcase on the curb back at the house. Looks like we're talking toga toweling for the duration. <laughs> Would you cut it out? You're pathetic. <laughs> Yellow. Where's the other one? Uh, we're all going to bed now. <laughs> Look, we're trying to sleep. I know he's there. Put him on. You give me major creeps. Don't you see what's happening here? They're freezing me out. Me! Can you believe it? After all I've done for him. Hey! Hey! Hey, what are you... Man, she's tough. Want me to get that? Pesky phone salesman. The number you have reached has been disconnected. What are you doing? You hate sunbathing. My psycho roomie locked me out last night. I missed you. Why didn't you call? What? I did call. Why don't you ask your new best friend, snap a for your messages? Uh, Snap's no fun. He made me stop jumping on the bed at 3 a.m. I wish you were roomies with me last night. You... you do? Sniz! Fun, too! Back to the mothership. Dig it. Hey, look! I found my bag of holding! Glad to have some fresh unmentionables again. Snaz! No. Snaz! No. no! Fruit casserole! <laughs> Looks like our dream vacation just got extended. <laughs> I'm rooming with Bianca. I get Snapper. <laughs> is isn't fondue, everybody. Two more reasons why. Hey, Lyle, you make a better door than a window. Whoops, sorry. Good one, Henry. <laughs> I hope you were paying attention there, Lyle, because that funny I just made illustrates rule number two. Be ready for anything. Many of our kablamiest moments happen when something goes wrong, and June and I are forced to just wing it. <laughs> well, I sure am glad to hear that, because my magic marker ran out and I couldn't finish writing the cue cards. Uh, no cue cards? Dateline, Garage Dome Arena. The legendary kiss thrills an exuberant crowd. I can't 
can't believe a schmo like you can get us backstage, Meltman. Believe it, Thunder Girl. These guys are old buddies of mine. We used to jam together in high school. Hold it right there, pal. It's okay. I'm with the band. Beat it, punk. Ah! As our roasted Romeo gets a rude awakening, so too does a cranky Colossus. <laughs> Too wow! Action League, now starring the flesh. He's super strong and super naked. Thunder Girl, she flies like thunder. Stinky Diver, a former Navy commando with an attitude as bad as his odor. And Meltman, with the power to um, melt. Today's episode, rock a -Beak Baby. Our saga continues at Action League headquarters, where Stinky Diver and the Flesh let off a little action steam. I wanna rock and roll all night and party every day. We're heavy metal rockers. Yeah, we're headbangers. Oh. <laughs> That's a big baby! on the wrong side of the crypt today. And he's headed for the garage dome. Action League away! Baby man! I don't remember this being part of the show, but I like it. Hey, you big baby. You're ruining my date. <laughs> date? We went with you because you said we could get backstage. Wait, I can explain. <laughs> ah! Serves you right, jerk. Ah! Oh! oh! Blimey! I'm blinded! Oh! 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 My makeup! With their fabled frontman about to meet a drooling demise, is it rock a bye bye for the loudest band in the land? Stay tuned for the action stuff conclusion of Action League Now. Action League Now. Baby Big. Baby Ooh. Baby Bad. As a rock legend gets a lethal lubing, will these be the last licks for the loudest band in the land? Not if I can help it. Ah! Huh? Look, it's working. Ah, kids, you gotta love them. those guys. Does that mean this is a date? Yeah, <laughs> and then you woke up. Hey, want to see my Gene Simmons imitation?
I love Kiss. As a matter of fact, I... Uh, come on, Lyle. We're trying to make a TV show here. Kasari! I'm telling you, these college kids... Hang on a sec, Henry. Maybe he just needs a few pointers. Rule number three, Lyle. Technique is everything. Now, pay close attention while I show you the proper way to operate this piece of equipment. You see, Lyle? When you conk Henry with the microphone, you gotta really give it to him. I am learning so much. And if you're a fan of head conking entertainment, you're gonna love this next cartoon. It's The Offbeats. All for one and one for all. We are invisible. Indivisible, Rapunzel. That too. Now this is interesting. The Department of Safety estimates that one out of every four people will be badly conked on the head. Really? Sounds dubious. <laughs> well, I'll see you four guys later. Uh-oh. They never stay, never stay small. And the populace don't like them at all. But that's okay. Life is sweet. They cool. <laughs> they the offbeats. Four of us can't hang out anymore, or one of us is gonna get conked on the head. It's just a dumb statistic, August. Last week, I read that all people with mustaches are happy. <laughs> okay, who's it gonna be? I guess I could do it. We have to be fair about this. I said I'll do it. Maybe we should take a vote. I said I'll do it! Nice knowing you. I feel like something's missing. You guys shouldn't be here. One of us could get conked. That's a chance we're willing to take. Besides, Rapunzel said she'd watch the skies. I have very good eyesight. Ow! Miss Tommy, so I thought this might help. It's the TR-77, the latest in PAL replacements. He doesn't look anything like Tommy. That's not my fault! Wow, he's good. Hello, Tommy. Who's that? TR-77. Look, one, two, three, four, and no problems. This could be you. I don't mind being by myself. Come on, Tommy. That was just a fluke. Bah. You go your way, and I'll go mine. I quit. thinking. What's a little bump on the head between friends? We were just coming to see you too. All for one and one for all. It's good to have you back, Tommy. As part of 
have his internship, we're letting Lyle pick the next cartoon. Lyle, what's it gonna be? Ah, uh, yes. It's an iconoclastic pastiche of multimedia images blended together to create a seamless, postmodern vision of... <gasps> it's called Patchhead. from He Hankin' Swanky Blue Collar Holler Kids Golf Classic. I'm Critter. And I'm Dirt Claw. The match ain't even started. It looks like Kid Kudzu's got it all wrapped up. Hey, little peanut putter. You look hungry. Ah! Here's a putter pretzel to tide you over. And with no competitors left, it looks like Kid Kudzu will take home the grand prize, the Super Disco. Paint and lather. Two-tone. Cubic zirconia. Encrusted. Donkey, Donkey boy, boy dog shoes. shoes. Woo! mine. Come to Kid Kudzu, you. What the? Not so diggity dang dang fast, Kid Kudzu. The name's Patchhead, and the ball whacking ain't over till the fat caddy sings. Okay, divot head, prepare for pulverization. Our first hole is the radiator intimidator. Spectacular approach shot. Radiator raping. Put the pedal to the metal and get get get. Looks like it's gonna be a long afternoon, fans. You can cut the tension with a chainsaw as Kid Kudzu and Patchhead line up for the final hole, the picturesque Pour a Hole! Chew on this, melon maggot. Kid Kudzu's big daddy divot digging hole in one power putt. <laughs> Looks like Patchhead still has a chance to win the kids' classic. Kid can go. Okay, Patch Punk. May the golf ball hit you where the dog should have bit you. <laughs> needs a new pair of shoes. Incoming! What the? Uh-oh, ball in the throat of Tosis. Knees bent, head down, arms straight, and fire! It's a hole in one! Super golf pantalistic! <laughs> <laughs> And shoes, Daisy. Wow, Lila was right. That was an iconoclastic pastiche of multimedia images. Now what? You didn't let that piker into the control room, did you? No. Actually, he's going to perform. It's this little thing he's been working on. He's all excited. For your enjoyment, I'd like to do a few impressions of some of Kablam's um, kablamiest stars. First up, Sniz. Glad to have some fresh unmentionables again. <laughs> Stinky diver, everybody. Blimey, that's a big baby. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, funny stuff. Lyle the intern, everybody. How about a big hand for it? Hi, son! I'll do it! 
It's Tommy from the Offbeat. <laughs> Thank you, you're beautiful. Hey, I think you know this guy. Now that was truly special. Oh, by the way, Lyle, that was lesson number four. Perhaps the most important lesson of all. Never upstage the hosts. You said it, Hemroid. See you when we see you, Kablammers. Join us again next time. Same Kablam time, same Kablam network. <laughs>